Chapter 1141 I can touch, but if you touch translator, born to be the flying boat stopped a hundred miles from the ancient city, Li Changfeng told Long Chen, this place is the Zhuangshan Dao sect's territory and is called Zhuangshan City. In accordance with the Martial Heaven Alliance's rules, everything ahead is the hunting ground for disciples. That means kings and above are not allowed to enter, so you'll have to enter on your own. On the way here, Long Chen had learned more about this place. The defensive zones that all the large sects were protecting along the sea were not just battlefields. They were also very beneficial to the growth of a sect-only foundation forging cultivators were allowed inside. Kings and above were forbidden because the higher-ups were worried about them sneaking into the sea to go hunting. Then they might end up disturbing some terrifying existence. Also, Long Chen, try not to cause too much trouble. Li Changfen gave him one last warning before leaving with the flying boat. He, I have orders to cause trouble. If I don't cause enough, the Zuan master won't be happy. Long Chen laughed inside. Seeing the two flying boats leave, Long Chen was just about to speak when Gao Xian Iang waved his hand and led his people inside. Gao Xian Iang's side had less than 30,000 people. As for Long Chen's side, he had the new disciples as well as over half the old disciples. His side numbered close to 300,000. Although they were said to be two equal groups, the number disparity was so great that even the flying boats they had been given to use were different. This fact displeased Gao Xian Iang extremely. As soon as Li Changfeng left, he walked over to Zhuangshan City without even looking at Long Chen. It was clear he was acting like this intentionally. Let's go as well. We're now villagers far from the sect we can be fearless men here, laughed Long Chen. The others couldn't help but look at him oddly. With his temper, when was he not a fearless man? In all of the Zhuangshan Dao sect's history, there had never been a disciple like him. Just how many elders and teachers had he slapped in the face? He had even slapped the heaven-suppressing magic sect's vice-sect master. Long Chen led them forward. A sea breeze began to blow by them, one that contained a dense smell of blood. That smell was something that came from within this ancient city. The city was 300 miles wide, and it was extremely ancient and worn down. Even the city gates were covered in cracks. There were signs of ugly patches all over them. The sea breeze caused constant damage to the city, causing its walls to erode quickly. Long Chen and the others were caught unprepared by how weak the city walls were, as the core area of the Zhuangshan Dao sect's defensive zone. Despite being called Zhuangshan City, it was so worn down that it was on the verge of collapse. The city walls were filled with holes, and everyone was careful, afraid that a bump might cause the whole city to collapse. In front of the city gates, Gao Xian Iang was speaking with a man wearing a crown. They actually embraced each other enthusiastically. This man was the city lord's son. Guo Su, his cultivation base was at the 8th Havenstage of Foundation Forging. Due to the Martial Heaven Alliance's rules, even the strongest expert in the city had to still be in the Foundation Forging realm. Guo Su was also a rank 6 celestial, but he had never gone out. He always stayed within Zhuangshan City. Five years ago, Gao Xian Iang had come here with the mission to hunt sea demons. That was how the two of them knew each other. Brother Xian Iang, it's been five years. You've once more advanced. I'll hold a celebration dinner for you, said Guo Su. Then he lowered his voice and said, So, are there any beauties this time? Introduce me to them. In truth, Guo Su was a miserly, perverted man. Last time, Gao Xian Iang had set him up with a woman to play some of the games the Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples used to quench their thirst. And Guo Su had immediately become infatuated with them and couldn't stop. These games were a kind of way for men and women to amuse themselves without breaking the sect's inherited rules. The Dao sect had a rule that stated its female disciples could not lose their virginity. That would affect their comprehension of the heavenly Daos. As for male disciples, they couldn't merge Yang with Yin, or they would also be affected. The sect enforced this rule strictly. If anyone tried to do such a thing in secret, they would definitely be found out and expelled from the sect at best. They would be demoted to a worker or commoner. But stifling these men and women so badly also wasn't good. To avoid that, the Dao sect had ways to resolve those urges so they didn't have to be distracted. Other than that final step of merging Yin with Yang, there weren't many other restrictions. And so the Dao sect's disciples developed many thirst quenching games on the sly. The Dao sect neither supported nor opposed these games. But if anyone lost their virginity, they would be directly expelled. But there were always geniuses in every possible field. The Dao sect's disciples ended up developing amazing games with special tricks and techniques. These games were sometimes even more stimulating than the real thing. 
As for Guo Su, the city lord's son, he was truly a silk pants disciple. He had long since lost his pure body. It was unknown how many women in the city had had an affair with him. But after Gao Xianyang had come, he had experienced a new kind of pleasure, which made him feel inferior. As expected, true members of sects knew how to play much better. So once Gao Xianyang and the others had left last time, Guo Su had been lost in loneliness. It was like all the women by his side had become lackluster. When he tried to teach them those techniques, they were unable to replicate them. This time, the sign of the martial heaven sea rings tide had delighted him. The first thing he had thought about was what that woman had taught him. Gao Xianyang felt immense disgust for Guo Su, as well as disdain. He had an urge to viciously slap this miserly pervert. Last time, he had had that female disciple treat him properly. But when the time to split the resources had come, this cheapskate hadn't given him the appropriate portion. In the hunting mission last time, the spoils of war were supposed to have been split 50-50 with the disciples and Zhuanshan city. And the one in charge of that had been Guo Su. According to normal logic, having played with Gao Xianyang's toys, Guo Su should have secretly added some benefits to make him feel better. But what had Guo Su done? He had come up with a bunch of excuses and had taken another 10% of the resources for himself. As a result, the 50-50 split ended up 60-40. Zhuanshan City had taken 60%, while Gao Xianyang had been left with 40%. At that time, Gao Xianyang had turned green with fury. But Zhuanshan City was an independent department, and within its walls, people had no choice but to lower their heads. And so he had been forced to endure. Now five years had passed and this idiot immediately wanted more from him. Gao Xianyang didn't know how this idiot had managed to live to this day. Did he not feel embarrassed to directly say such a thing? But he simply smiled and said, Brother, I brought some peerless beauties for you this time, and they're all exquisitely skilled. However, they're quite haughty, so it'll be up to your own skills. At this time, Long Chen and the other disciples also arrived. When Guo Su saw Men Qi, Tang Wan Er, Xia Ziyan, and Hua Shiyu, his eyes almost popped out. He had never seen such beautiful women. So now seeing four of them at once, he immediately began to drool. Gao Xianyang saw him looking at the four of them like a pig and smiled. Stop. Show me your identity badges. I need to confirm them one by one. Long Chen and the others were suddenly stopped by a middle-aged guard. He had a hat on at a crooked angle and a sheathed saber on his waist. Long Chen was first startled. But then he saw Gao Xianyang and the others entering without any investigation at all. He was clearly just making things hard on them. When Hua Shiyu showed her badge, a large hand suddenly took it. Let me see, this hand belonged to Guo Su. At the same time as he grabbed her badge, he extended extra far to touch her hand. A feverish light shone in his eyes as he began to lose control. Scram. Hua Shiyu's face immediately turned frosty, and she sent a kick straight toward Guo Su's crotch. Long Chen could hear two consecutive cracking sounds. Guo Su screamed and flew back like a shooting star, striking the city gates. As a result, the broken down city gates collapsed, burying him beneath the rubble. The dozens of guards were startled. One of them was about to curse at her when Hua Shiyu extended a hand and slapped him across the face. This foundation forging expert was slapped unconscious by Hua Shiyu. The other guards immediately realized something was off. This woman was not so easy to provoke. Rather than stupidly attacking her, they ran over to Guo Su, pulling him out of the rubble. But he was still screaming and rolling crazily. Even for cultivators, the life rod was a fatal weakness. That place was not so easily recovered with heavenly Dao energy. That was because it was the root of passing down the ancestral line. It was the foundation of the human Dao. Using heavenly Dao energy to heal that spot might recover the form, but it would lose its core ability. It would essentially be crippled and there would be no more human Dao coming from there. Looking at Guo Su rolling on the ground as he held his crotch and wailed, a disdainful expression appeared on Long Chen's face. He sneered inside, I can touch, but if you touch, it'll be dangerous. Just touching a hand practically severed your ancestry. Do you want to try touching her chest? Gao Xianyang heard all this and was delighted, but he put on an expression of shock as he looked back. The disturbance startled all of Zhuanshan City and a large group of experts rushed over. Long Chen, how brazen, you dare to attack the city lord's son. Gao Xianyang cried out furiously, hiding his delight. Who dares to cause trouble in my Zhuanshan city? Suddenly, a furious row rang out, and a middle-aged man appeared in front of everyone. 
Chapter 1142 Upholding Justice Translator Born to be this middle-aged man was the city lord. He was also Guo Su's father, Guo Zhengyang. Seeing that his precious son had been injured, he was startled and infuriated. He roared at Long Chen and the others, just about to attack. City Lord, Junior Master's life rod has been severely damaged. It requires peak grade life giving elixir and a top grade flesh birthing pill to heal. One of the elders quickly examined Guo Su's injuries. Having one's penis and balls completely destroyed was naturally a heavy injury. Guo Zhengyang only had this one son. Now, this was a big matter. Guo Zhengyang frowned, and after a moment of hesitation, he said, Have healers treat him. Medicine can also be poisonous, so healing naturally is better. The elder was speechless. He had followed the city lord for 300 years. Although he was well aware of how stingy he was, he hadn't thought he would be so stingy with his flesh and blood son. This was the epitome of stinginess. Healers could definitely help him recover, but it would be painful and take a long time. Guo Zhengyang would rather his son suffer than heal him with medicine. Who did this? Get out here. As people carried away Guo Su, Guo Zhengyang glared at Hua Shiyu and the others. Hua Shiyu was just about to walk out when Long Chen beat her to it. He said, You are city lord Guo Zhengyang? The Zuan master has ordered me to give you some money. What shocked all the disciples was that the furious Guo Zhengyang immediately smiled brightly upon hearing that he would get money. Yes, as expected. The Zuan Master is a hero amongst men. Sigh. My Zuanshan city has truly been low on funds recently. We don't even have the money to repair our defenses. Where is the money? Long Chen smiled. He had an urge to prostrate himself in admiration toward the Zuan Master's scheming ability. With both hands, he extended a spatial ring to Guo's Hengyang. Just as Guo's Hengyang reached out toward it, Long Chen's hand suddenly grabbed his wrist, and in front of everyone's shocked gazes, he threw him to the ground. Boom. Dust flew everywhere. Guo Zhengyang had never imagined that Long Chen would dare to sneak attack him. He had no defenses at all and was easily knocked unconscious. Long Chen, what are you doing? Now, even Gao Zianyang was shocked. Was he trying to rebel? At this time, countless experts flew out of Zhuangshan City, looking at Long Chen holding the unconscious Guo Zhengyang with dumbfounded expressions. But not one person came to help. I was ordered by the Zuan master to investigate Guo Zhengyang's corrupt practices. He embezzled the wages for workers just to stuff his own pocket. Here is the tablet the Zuan master personally bestowed upon me. Long Chen took out a golden tablet with a large Zuan character written on it. It gave off immense pressure, and when it was taken out, an illusory image of the Zuanshan Dao sect appeared. This was the Zuanshan Dao sect's highest authority tablet. Seeing it was like seeing the Zuan master. Starting today. I am the city lord. My orders are to seal the city. No one can leave. Those who disobey will be directly executed, announced Long Chen. Everyone just stared blankly. Even Menki and Tang Wan'er hadn't known that Long Chen had come with special orders. Senior apprentice brother Sumo, senior apprentice sister Mu Kingsuan, Hua Shiyu, and Wang Zhen, bring people to block the four city exits. If anyone dares to forcibly leave, kill them, ordered Long Chen. Although the four of them didn't know what Long Chen was thinking, they still led their people to seal the city. Long Chen brought the remaining disciples into Zhuangshan City. Once they were inside, they truly became speechless. There was not a single brick in Zhuangshan City that was still intact. They were all cracked and broken. This was the most broken down city Long Chen had ever seen. Once he was inside, he saw quite a few foundation forging experts dispiritedly soaking in the sun. They looked like they were just waiting for death. Seeing Long Chen dragging an unconscious Guo Zhengyang, those people's eyes brightened slightly. One of them even excitedly asked, Senior, have you come to uphold justice and put this blood-sucking ghost on trial? Senior? Looking at this middle-aged man with a full beard and mustache, Long Chen felt a wave of pain at being called a senior, but he understood this person's expression. This person had clearly been suppressed and squeezed too hard and for too long. He clearly wanted Guo Zhengyang dead. Does Guo Zhengyang have any accomplices? Asked Long Chen directly. Yes, yes, I'll bring you to them right now. Quite a few people began to cry out with excitement, shocking Tang Wan'er and the others. They had no idea what was going on. Let's go. Long Chen handed Guo Zhengyang to Gu Yang and followed these people to a luxurious mansion. As soon as they arrived, several experts blocked their way, cursing. Long Chen directly sent those people flying and broke the door down with a punch. Only once all of them had charged in did the people inside react. 
However, they were easily beaten into submission by the Dragonblood Legion. At the core of the mansion, a large fatty appeared. He was just about to speak when he was knocked unconscious with a fist. Zhuangshan City had four great noble families. Now, as soon as Long Chen arrived, they were all captured. The entire city was in disorder. Quite a few people tried fleeing, but they were stopped and captured. Within the city lord's mansion, Long Chen and all the others were gathered. Guo's Hengayang and Guo Su were lying on the ground, along with dozens of people from the four noble families. They all lay there, motionless. Under Long Chen's orders, Men Qi investigated their souls. What shocked everyone was that the city lord and even these noble families were people of the heaven-suppressing magic sect, or people with close relations to the heaven-suppressing magic sect once Men Qi explained what she had learned with her soul sark. Long Chen truly had an urge to prostrate himself toward the Zuan master. This city lord was in existence the heaven-suppressing magic sect had set up in Zhuangshan city. It was only with their help that he had gained enough support to become the city lord. As for the Zuan master, he had simply acted like he didn't know. Guo's Hengayang was an absolute scrooge. He was miserly with others, and he was also miserly with himself. Just from the way he treated Guo Su told everything. Once he took office, he did his best to pull in as much wealth as possible. He was completely corrupt, even squeezing the disciples of their wages. He used all kinds of excuses, and as a result, None of the Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples wished to stay here, and they went to report to the Zuan master. The Zuan master had once sent someone to investigate, and as a result, Guo's Hengayang had shown a detailed list of his accounting work. An examination of this list revealed no mistakes at all. Then that investigator had left. As a result, Guo's Hengayang became even more overboard. Those people who had falsely accused him had all been kicked out, and their wages had gone into his pocket. Just three years after he took office, there were practically no longer any disciples from the Zhuangshan Dao sect who stayed. There was no money to be made here, so they all returned to the sect, or they left to make their own way in the world. Guo's Hengayang saw this, and he quickly enticed a few of his own relatives to come over. From his wife's families, he managed to bring over many relatives. In just ten years, all of Zhuangshan city was composed of the heaven-suppressing magic sect's people. This was because Guo's Hengayang was not content with his situation. With no more disciples coming, his profits were shrinking, and the Zhuangshan Dao sect only sent money to fix the defenses every few decades. Therefore, he actually used his own relatives to take in more money. These relatives were all outer members of the heaven-suppressing magic sect, and so amongst them, his background was the greatest, so much so that they couldn't resist. His aunt was one of Ma Zingkong's dual cultivation partners. Once he had duped four relatives here, he directly bestowed them the title of four grand noble families and said they would jointly develop this region. This region was filled with countless sea demons and rich in minerals. Guo's Hengayang had pulled them in as investors, and so they naturally had to put in money to get money. The four grand noble families ended up sinking all their wealth into this place. They had thought they would be able to start making all of it back in just a few decades, but they quickly found that this was not the case. The accounting books were all overseen by Guo's Hengayang, and he constantly gave excuses that the Zhuangshan Dao sect had debts and was taking resources. He didn't dare to touch their investment yet. Only once they had enough accumulated wealth could they go through with the plan. So he told them to wait patiently. Guo's Hengayang was truly a swindler. Not only did he not give them dividends, he even started charging them rent and all kinds of other taxes. The four grand noble families were infuriated. But Guo's Hengayang didn't care. He directly told them that if they wanted to stay behind, they had to listen. Otherwise, they could scram. But once they left, they would lose the status of noble families, and they would lose their initial investment. So they couldn't leave. But they also couldn't do anything to Guo's Hengayang due to his background. They could only endure. Guo's Hengayang continued with his tricks. He had them dupe more people over. He said that he would give them a third of the profits from those duped people. Furthermore, when they finally left Zhuangshan city, he would give them an extra 15% of their earnings. The four grand noble families could only start baiting their own relatives into coming in order to survive. Now, all the people in Zhuangshan city were the heaven-suppressing magic sect's outer members. Even the experts on duty were their people. Most importantly, they had all been tricked over, and they didn't get the slightest salary. Even when they killed sea demons, the profits would go to Zhuangshan city. With Guo's Hengayang's severe threats, they didn't even dare to run away. They could only continue like this until they died. 
This was also why no one came to help once they saw Guo's Hengyang had been knocked unconscious. They only watched with stupefied expressions because they were already numb. But when they learned Long Chen had come to replace Guo's Hengyang, they almost wept tears of joy. They wished Long Chen would directly kill this greedy bastard, because only once he was dead would they be freed. Long Chen now had over 300 spatial rings, and each one of them was filled with treasures. There were weapons, sets of armor, medicinal pills, materials, spirit stones, etc. There was one in particular that made Long Chen's heart pound wildly. Chapter 1143 The Zuan Master's Methods Translator Born to be one particular spatial ring was filled with Yuan Spirit Stones. Yuan Spirit Stones were the greatest currency in this world as they only ever increased in value. That was why Guo's Hengyang had always done his best to get more Yuan Spirit Stones, even if it was just one or two. When Menki had done her soul sark on him, she found that he had a strange addiction. Each day, he would lie on top of his pile of Yuan Spirit Stones and sleep. That was the only way he could feel at rest. Looking at the 500 million Yuan Spirit Stones inside, Long Chen's admiration for the Zuan Master maxed out. When it came to strategy, who could compare to the Zuan Master? He had raised a pig for 300 years, and this pig had even drawn over more pigs from the heaven-suppressing magic sect 300 years ago. The Zuan Master had seen through the character of the miserly Guo's Hengyang. At that time, he had sown this seed. Now it had borne fruit. The amount of wealth Guo's Hengyang had embezzled from the Zuan Shindeo sect was just one-tenth of his total wealth. The remaining 90% was what Guo's Hengyang had spent 300 years making. The return on the Zuan Master's investment was huge. The Zuan Master had subtly hinted that the Yuan Spirit Stones would all go to Long Chen, while the rest of the resources would be sent up to the Zuan Shindeo sect because it was Long Chen who personally took them. The Deo sect wouldn't be affected by much karma. After all, they didn't directly give it to Long Chen. The Zuan Master's intention had been very clear. He had basically been telling Long Chen to be greedy and just not report the Yuan Spirit Stones. The Yuan Spirit Stones took up almost half the total wealth Guo's Hengyang had had. Over 90% of these precious Yuan Spirit Stones were the result of his relationship with the Heaven Suppressing Magic Sect. The more Long Chen thought about it, the more he felt that the Zuan Master's plot had gone on absolutely beautifully. To use his enemy's money to fatten his own pocket, his plot had practically reached a pinnacle. What should we do with these people? Menki looked oddly at the people they had captured. Release them. Even though they're spies with the intent to bring down the Zuan Shindeo sect, the Zuan master is a grand and magnanimous man. He doesn't wish to kill people. After all, the Zuan Shindeo sect has such a friendly relationship with the heaven-suppressing magic sect let them go so that the entire central plains can see what it means to be generous and forgiving, said Long Chen sanctimoniously. Guo's Hengyang, Guo Su, the noble families, and any people holding any post in the city were kicked out. The ordinary people who were kicked out thanked Long Chen over and over again. They were finally free. But as for Guo's Hengyang, when he woke up, he let out a hysterical wail and demanded Long Chen return his wealth. Long Chen directly slapped him unconscious and had those people drag him away. In less than four hours, Zhuanchen City had changed masters. Now, Long Chen was the new city lord. City lord, do you need to be served at night? Teased Tang Wan'er suddenly. Don't mess around. Long Chen. What should we do? Gao Xian Yang and the others charged their way into the storehouse and took the only functioning flying boat to go hunting, said Men Qi. Aren't there supposed to be five flying boats? Only one can fly, asked Long Chen. It was Guo's Hengyang. He was so stingy that he didn't even maintain the flying boats. The four flying boats have lost too much spirituality and cannot fly, said Men Qi. There's Guo Ran. Have him repair them. Long Chen was confident in his skills. Also. Tell everyone not to be in a rush to go hunting. Right now, the city is ours. Although the city is already on the verge of collapsing, we'll still need to defend it in the end. Have Sumo, Mu Kingsuan, Hua Shiyu, and Wang's Hen go hunting in the surrounding regions. When the flying boats are fixed, we can go hunting in the sea then. What about the Dragonblood Legion? Have everyone go into seclusion and refine you on spirit stones. They should do their best to increase their cultivation basis. I'm going to check out the city's defenses. Long Chen and Guo Ran flew out of the city and went to see the city's defenses that bordered the sea. Crack. When Long Chen landed on the high city walls, a mass of rocks shattered. That Guo's Hengyang really was stingy. In order to save spirit stones, he didn't even activate the protective formation. 
After several centuries, everything's corroded and is as weak as tofu. Guo Ran picked up a rock and crushed it with his hand. He shook his head. Long Chen also shook his head. This city's lifespan had already reached its limit. Even if the defensive formation was activated, it would completely break down in another few centuries. It was because the Zuan master had realized that the city was reaching its limit that he had allowed Guo's Hengayang to come here. This city's ability wasn't actually focused on defense but offense. However, now that its lifespan had reached an end, it wasn't able to endure unleashing any attacks. Furthermore, back then, the Zuanshan Dao sect had been in a difficult situation financially and hadn't had the money to completely reconstruct this huge city that would take an ocean's worth of manpower and resources. Before coming, the Zuan master had implied that the Yuan spirit stones were Long Chen's, but they weren't for free. Long Chen had to hold the line during this beast tide and couldn't allow the sea demons to charge into the central plains. If that happened, the Zuanshan Dao sect would lose their rights over this region. The Martial Heaven Alliance would then replace them with another power, and all the resources that could be gained here would go to the succeeding power. So Long Chen felt a great deal of pressure. After taking the Zuan Master's money, he had to get to work. Since you're done forging the sets of armor, I'll need you to help me forge large quantities of something else, said Long Chen. What? For you boss, anything. Guo Ran patted his chest confidently. I want you to forge supreme bombs. The stronger the better. Can you do that? Asked Long Chen. It's not a problem. I have enough materials. However, it'll take some time. If I wanted three feet wide bombs, how many can you make? And how powerful would they be? Three feet. Then I can easily inscribe a hundred runes on it. I can just merge Phoenix Plume Scarlet Gold and Ink Rock Black Iron. Once they explode, it'll have an effective area of 300 miles. And in the core area of 150 miles, any ninth rank sea demons would definitely die. Estimated Guo Ran. When it came to battle power, 9th rank sea demons were weaker than 9th rank magical beasts. But the most terrifying aspect of them was their numbers. Furthermore, they were usually covered in scales that bolstered their defensive strength to a high level. How many such bombs can you create a day? Even if I focus only on this, I don't think I can make more than a hundred a day. This was an extremely shocking speed. If it hadn't been for his ancient forging table, just making 10 a day would be not bad. As for ordinary forging masters, trying to make more than three a day would exhaust them. Guo Ran had truly turned into a grand master existence in terms of forging. Boss, what are you planning to do? The city's defenses are essentially useless. If the sea demon army is too powerful for us to stop, then originally we should have drawn them over to the city to shrink the fighting area. But since the city can't be used, I'm thinking of having Song Mingyuan and Li Qi create a new dike. They'll create two large walls that will slant toward here, and all the sea demons will gradually be led to Zhuanshan City. Then we can use your bombs to make some death traps, said Long Chen. Boss, is the beast tide really so powerful? You don't think we'll be enough? Guo Ran was a bit surprised. Do you know what it means to be prepared just in case? Anything can happen. So having some hidden cards is leaving yourself with a higher chance of surviving. This isn't a joke, said Long Chen. It seemed Guo Ran was becoming so confident that he didn't even sense danger. Don't think this is a waste. Even if we don't use them this time, it's not like we'll throw them away. We can use them in the future. There's still some time. So right now, focus on quality, not quantity. All right, I understand. Boss, Guo Ran nodded and left to get to work. Long Chen continued to stroll through the original dike. He saw that there were natural barriers on the two sides. Sheer cliffs extended far beside them. He had no idea who the people guarding the ends of these cliffs were. When his divine sense stretched into the sea, he sensed quite a few towers inside. Those were projects used to mine the minerals beneath the sea. But now they had long since stopped working. Guo's Hengayang had originally spent a little bit to give those towers a facelift. Then after more people were baited into coming here, he had stopped caring about those things and happily squeezed those people of their money instead. Guo's Hengayang had been very confident in his position in Zhuanshan City, as he had been appointed by the previous Zuan master to run Zhuanshan City for 500 years. Furthermore, he had even had Ma Zingkong as a backer, but before the 500 years ran out, he had been kicked out. Long Chen inspected the terrain for a long while, drawing a rough sketch. Only then did he return to Zhuanshan City. Chapter 1144 Third Havenstage of Foundation Forging Translator Born to be Long Chen returned to Zhuanshan City and saw some Dragon Mark warriors patrolling. 
He couldn't help being speechless. Who told you to patrol? He asked. It was Big Brother Gu Yang. One of them replied. Go back. This broken city is already this worn down. Even if a thief came, they would just leave with tears. There's nothing to steal. Other than the cultivation region, the other places don't need to be so heavily guarded. Long Chen sent the Dragon Mark warriors on their way. Gu Yang's thinking was definitely too rigid. All the wealth within Zhuangshan city had been sucked dry by Guo's Hengayang. Even if you invited people to come and steal from here, no one would do it. Walking into the city lord's mansion, he arrived at a small underground formation. At the center of it was a platform. Long Chen placed all the spatial rings he had gotten from Guo's Hengayang other than the one with Yuan spirit stones in it. Activating the formation, a ray of light shone on the platform, and the spatial rings instantly vanished. Within multiple recesses of the formation, hundreds of Yuan spirit stones shattered. This transportation really is expensive. Long Chen couldn't help but sigh emotionally. This was a special transportation formation and could only transport small things. Usually, it was used to transmit news, as it was unable to move people. But for just a few spatial rings to cost several hundred yuan spirit stones, it was truly expensive. Other than a few dozen disciples guarding the outside, Long Chen and the rest of the Dragonblood Legion were in seclusion. The others were cultivating under the blessing of the immemorial altar lamp. Long Chen began to crazily absorb yuan spirit stones. There was nothing else to do these days, as Guo Ran needed some time to fix the flying boats. Without a flying boat, there was no way to go hunting far away. Flying in the air personally without anywhere to land was too dangerous. As for the shore or the sea that was close to the land, there weren't many sea demons. Sumo and the others were hunting in that region, but most likely they hadn't even killed as many sea demons as they had people. There was basically no profit to be had. Long Chen crazily absorbed Yuan spirit stones. But now he came up with something different from others. He was no longer absorbing them handful by handful. Instead, he gave all these Yuan spirit stones to Lai Long and Huo Long. They devoured them and then transmitted their energy to him. This was definitely a terrifying way to absorb Yuan spiritual energy. Anyone else would instantly explode when so much Yuan spiritual energy was poured into them. Even Gu Yang, someone who walked the path of a body cultivator would at most be able to absorb energy from 10 Yuan spirit stones at a time. Any more and his body wouldn't be able to handle it. He gave all the 500 million Yuan spirit stones to Lai Long and Huo Long. He then directly absorbed their energy from them. This would save him the trouble of refining them one by one. Furthermore, he could also control the speed at which he absorbed the energy. Right now, Lai Long and Huo Long were incredibly powerful existences. That was especially true of Lai Long. It had fully absorbed all the energy from when Long Chen had gone through tribulation, and its combat power was even greater than Huo Long's now. It was only because they were strong enough that Long Chen dared to do this. The two of them ended up being like a huge reservoir of energy for Long Chen. As he extracted a torrent of Yuan spiritual energy, he sensed the flower design on his immortal platforms rapidly revolving. A new rune quickly condensed. That rune then greedily absorbed Yuan spiritual energy until it was fully satisfied and then a new rune was formed. With his experience reaching the first heaven stage of foundation forging, Long Chen decided not to even bother looking at how much this was costing him. He was basically cultivating with his eyes closed. Ten days later, an explosive sound rang out from his body as he entered the third heaven stage. This time, he had been prepared, and he didn't cause a disturbance like when he had reached the first heaven stage. Sensing the immortal platforms in his body, he sank into thought. Other people would condense nine runes into a foundation for their immortal platform. For the second heaven stage, they would condense eight runes into the second level of their immortal platform. Following that pattern, their immortal platforms would end up being a conical shape in the end. But as immortal platforms were different, the foundation was condensed through 13 runes, and the second level was also condensed with 13 runes. The size was also the same. The third level had also taken 13 runes. If this continued, his immortal platform would end up cylindrical, different from everyone else's. Whatever, you can be whatever shape you want. Time to continue cultivating. Hmm, what the fuck? Long Chen was just about to continue when he let out a startled cry. He saw that Lai Long and Huo Long no longer had any Yuan spirit stones in their bodies. They're gone. 500 million Yuan spirit stones disappeared just like this. Long Chen couldn't believe his eyes. He looked again and again before accepting that this was reality. 500 million Yuan spirit stones had only let him advance two heaven stages. Long Chen was in despair. 
How was he supposed to cultivate in the future? If he used the remaining Yuan spirit stones he had, perhaps he would be able to reach the fourth heaven stage. That would leave him at the mid-foundation forging realm. But then what about the Dragonblood Legion? Long Chen was speechless. It seemed his cultivation would have to slow down for now. He stood up and stretched. He did a few exercises, and he felt his body overflowing with energy. It felt like his energy was about to explode out of his control. Sensing the energy coming from the 108,000 immortal platforms, he almost had an urge to pierce through heaven and earth. Clenching his fist, space rumbled. Fine, I admit I don't begrudge it again. Sensing the immense power from his body, he felt much more at ease with having spent 500 million yuan spirit stones. Now, Long Chen's thirst for money was growing greater and greater. It was no wonder the Huai insect believed in their wealth god. Now even he was believing in it. Money couldn't buy happiness. But now Long Chen was experiencing how painful it was to not have money. Without Yuan spirit stones, there was no way for him to cultivate. With this new method involving Huo Long and Lai Long, he was confident that if he had enough Yuan spirit stones, I in less than three months, he would be able to reach the peak of foundation forging. Unfortunately, there weren't that many ifs in this world. After sighing emotionally, he left his room. Going out into the city, he saw that Sumo and the others were still nowhere to be found. After asking around, he learned that Guo Ran had already fixed the flying boats while he had been in seclusion. Therefore, Sumo, Mu Kingsuan, Hua Shiyu, and Wang Zhen had taken the flying boats and gone hunting. As for Gao Xianyang, he didn't send any word, and Long Chen couldn't be bothered with him. As long as he didn't cause trouble, Long Chen wouldn't give a damn. Once Long Chen was out, he saw that the Dragonblood Legion's warriors had already reached the fourth heaven stage, and quite a few had reached the fifth heaven stage. Suddenly, the sky darkened and a huge figure appeared in front of Long Chen. It was so fast that Long Chen hadn't sensed it at all before it arrived. It was the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow. It was now over 600 meters long, and its feathers had grown out making it appear like a majestic steed. Right now, its aura was equivalent to a 6th rank magical beast, but its power was even greater than a 7th rank magical beast. Brother Long, Wild jumped off from Cloud's back. During this time, Cloud had ended up close to Wild. The two of them were both gluttonous. Previously, before the flying boats were fixed, the others hadn't dared to go too far, afraid of being surrounded by sea demons. But these two were different. Cloud was incredibly fast. Its very name was a sign of its speed and devouring power. Even though it was only at the 6th rank, even 9th rank magical beasts wouldn't be able to catch up to it. Cloud needed a large amount of flesh and blood, while Wild also needed to constantly eat. Because of this, Menki had finally agreed to let them go out. However, she had only permitted Cloud to eat 7th rank sea demons and below. They were still in the midst of patching its innate deficiency, so it couldn't grow too quickly. So when they went out, the 8th rank sea demons went to wild, while the smaller ones ended up as cloud snacks. The amount they ate was absolutely astonishing. No matter how much they ate, they never got full. Menki had even bought a king item bowl for wild before leaving. It was a spatial tool that could suck in dead sea demons and compress them. Thousands of sea demons could be compressed into the size of a thumb through this bowl, and wild could gobble them up after that. Although wild's cultivation base was unclear. Strange lines had now started to appear on his body. It was as if he was undergoing some kind of transformation, and his aura was also growing more terrifying. As for Cloud, it had it much easier. It simply opened its mouth, and sea demons would fly in without being able to resist. Thousands or tens of thousands would be swallowed all at once. That was its innate swallowing ability. Those sea demons that were swallowed into its stomach would instantly be killed. Long Chen checked Wild's body and saw that his cells had long since been fully activated, and now each one of them was in the midst of transformation. According to Wild, he was unbearably hungry every day. Long Chen knew this was a message Wild's body was sending him. It meant he was probably about to advance. But Wild's body was different from others. The way he advanced was also different. Right now, what Long Chen needed to do for Wild was make him full. Brother Long, there aren't enough 9th rank sea demons around. I can't get full. Wild rubbed his head sadly. Eighth rank sea demons didn't fill him up at all, and he was in a constant painful state of hunger. All right, gather up everyone. We'll also go out hunting. Long Chen patted Wild comfortingly. Chapter 1145 Clouds Power Translator Born to be the Eastern Sea gleamed like crystal under the sunlight. 
A flying boat slowly flew across its boundless surface. Long Chen, what's going on? How have we not encountered any powerful sea demons in two days? Men Qi gently brushed back some strands of hair that had been blown astray by the wind. It's probably the calm before the storm. It means a huge beast tide is about to erupt. Long Chen's expression was a bit grave. According to past records, each time the beast tide occurred, the sea demons would enter a quiet state as if they were preparing their strength. After flying for so long, they had essentially reached the edges of the deep sea. According to reason, despite that state of calm, there should still be sea demons present. However, things were frighteningly calm. Boss, why does the beast tide even occur? I still don't understand. What's the point of this periodic attack? Asked Gu Yang. To put it simply, it's a method of weeding out the weak. The martial heaven sea ring is controlled by the sea demons, and in the depths of the sea, no one dares to provoke them. Even the continent's peak experts are intimidated by them. As for the sea demons we're killing, they're just inferior members of the sea demon race. Their bloodline is impure, and the ninth rank is their limit. Only sea demons that can reach the tenth rank and above are true members of the sea demon race. Those who came with me to the central plains, you must still remember that we encountered a tenth rank sea demon on the way. They are the true leaders of the martial heaven sea ring. Just like the continent, the sea is also a land of cultivation. But there are just too many sea demons, and when the numbers reach a certain level, it affects the pure-blooded sea demons' cultivation as well. The beast tide is caused by the leaders of the sea demons who want to see the numbers go down, said Long Chen. This secret was actually something only a few people knew. The Zuan master had told him so he would be prepared. Heavens, they can control such a huge army of sea demons? Then couldn't they easily exterminate all human cultivators? Cried Gu Yang. It's not that exaggerated. After all, they're still beasts. They don't know alchemy, forging, formations, etc. Once they come onto the land, experts will kill them eventually. They can only run rampant in the sea. The reason they cause beast tides is to suppress the number of sea demons. It's through this balance that the number of sea demons stays low enough that the spiritual key in the sea doesn't grow thin. That would affect the true experts of the sea demon race. This is also why they will always put out some signs that the beast tide is about to start so that the human race can prepare. It's just a game of survival of the fittest. It's not a bad thing for humans or sea demons. The sea demon race is using human cultivators to eliminate a portion of their wasted resources. As for human cultivators, they use this battlefield to temper their disciples, as well as gathering Nedensnoveloon.com. This is also why the Martial Heaven Alliance forbids king experts from going hunting in the sea. They're afraid they might kill some pure-blooded descendants of the sea demons. That would draw out the true leaders of the sea demon race, and then a huge battle would definitely erupt. As Long Chen explained, he scattered some medicinal powders he had previously refined into the sea. These powders also contained the blood of some of Men Qi's magical beasts. Sea demons were very sensitive to magical beasts' blood. With Long Chen's powders, their scent was magnified. In just an incense stick's worth of time, the sea began to surge, and countless huge figures charged over. Ninth rank sea demons. Wild was the first to charge out with delight. He directly summoned his barbarian blood bronze body and swung his club, blasting the first monster fish's head apart. At the same time, a bowl in his hand released a ray of light that drew the monster fish inside. Wild directly swallowed it. The others found that surprising and funny. Wild was actually filled with such urgency because of hunger. They all went out to kill the sea demons. Eighth rank sea demons were no longer useful to them, but ninth rank sea demons were treasures. Their corpses could be sold for money, and their needons were exceptionally valuable. Long Chen's bait was drawing over more and more ninth rank sea demons. Now that the Dragonblood Legion had all advanced to foundation forging, killing these ninth rank sea demons wasn't at all difficult. The sea was quickly dyed red with the blood of the sea demons. The scent of that blood drew over more sea demons, and huge waves began to surge. Long Chen had the flying boat float over the battlefield. He looked at the intense battle below. Wild was killing and eating them one by one. In just a bit, he killed dozens of them but still wasn't full. Long Chen, what are you thinking about? Seeing Long Chen frowning in thought, Men Qi walked over. Have you noticed? The blood of these ninth rank sea demons. The energy within it quickly dissipates in the sea, said Long Chen. Isn't that obvious? When blood enters the sea, the sea will absorb it, said Men Qi with a teasing smile. Long Chen shook his head. That's not what I was talking about. I'm thinking, the sea demons are using the hands of humans to eliminate their weak members. 
then is our cultivation world also the same? Is there also a large hand pushing us forward? I, I didn't think of that. Men Qi was caught off guard, never having considered such a situation. Long Chen mulled over this possibility. In the immemorial pathway, he had gone to the depths of it with the eastern wasteland bell. There, he had seen an altar with a huge skull. Although the eastern wasteland bell had refused to answer his questions, he still felt that the immemorial pathway might very likely be the same as the martial heaven sea ring. It was being manipulated by someone. If it was possible that the immemorial path was being controlled, then what about the martial heaven continent? If there really was someone secretly directing the martial heaven continent, what kind of existence did they have to be? A god? Cloud, come back. Don't get greedy. Men Qi was distracted by her talk with Long Chen, and in that moment, Cloud had secretly eaten an 8th rank sea demon, but Men Qi had still caught it. Long Chen shook his head. This kind of problem wasn't one he should be pondering. Just the central plains was already so enormous. He would find the truth sooner or later. Men Qi, just let Cloud eat. Its innate deficiency is essentially fixed, and there are no problems with its body now. When we get back, I'll refine a pill to completely make up for any slight deficiency problem there still is, said Long Chen. The cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow looked incredibly pitiful. It was like a starving child how could they not let it eat? Cloud immediately let out a bird cry and charged into the battlefield. You imp, you only know how to play good cop. Men Qi rolled her eyes at Long Chen, but she didn't order Cloud back. Under her meticulous care, there was already no problem with Cloud's body. Its innate deficiency was already made up for, but Men Qi was a cautious and meticulous person, and she was afraid of any possible accidents, and so she didn't let Cloud eat too much. As for Long Chen, he didn't think the problem was too big. Each time, Cloud would put on such a pitiful appearance. Cloud was very smart, and as soon as Long Chen spoke, it flew off. It knew Men Qi wouldn't refuse Long Chen. Hey, that's a ninth rank sea demon cried Men Qi as she saw a ninth rank sea demon's corpse rapidly shrinking and flying toward Cloud's mouth. Just leave it, Men Qi, don't worry so much. Cloud is an ancient species with its own inheritance. If there really was danger, it would sense it itself. By constantly restricting it and not letting it act on instinct, you'll end up restricting its cultivation base, persuaded Long Chen. Fine, I admit I was just too concerned. Men Qi thought about it for a while and bitterly smiled. Long Chen held her hand. It's because you promised Cloud's mother that you are feeling so much pressure. But in reality, you aren't a god, and you don't know what will happen in the future. Let Cloud be. Men Qi understood what he was saying. She cared too much about Cloud, and pampering it wasn't necessarily a good thing. It would be better if Cloud was given more room to grow. After devouring a ninth rank sea demon, Cloud's rainbow colors lit up, and a powerful aura erupted. Cloud's body rapidly grew and it instantly advanced to the seventh rank. Men Qi was startled. Cloud was truly worthy of being a cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow. That powerful ninth rank sea demon was instantly digested as soon as it entered its stomach. Furthermore, its aura was still very stable. There wasn't the slightest weakening or sign of an empty cultivation base. This meant that Cloud really didn't need to be worried about so much and could grow on its own. Seeing this, Men Qi sighed with relief. At the same time, she felt slightly ashamed. If Long Chen hadn't persuaded her, she would have inhibited Cloud's growth. After advancing to the seventh rank, Cloud suddenly let out a heaven-shaking cry and shot toward a ninth rank sea demon. Men Qi jumped in fright as Cloud was still only at the seventh rank. She had just formed a hand seal when she was stopped by Long Chen. Sometimes, trust is the best encouragement. Boom. That bull-headed fish-bodied ninth rank sea demon unleashed two rays of bright light at Cloud. This was its full strength attack, causing Men Qi to turn pale. But when that light was about to strike, Cloud spread its feathers and vanished. When Cloud reappeared, it was right in front of the ninth rank sea demon. It opened its mouth, and an azure thread of light shot out. The thread of light pierced straight through the ninth rank sea demon's head, instantly killing it. Then its corpse was pulled into Cloud's stomach. At this moment, a dozen ninth rank sea demons had surrounded Cloud. It simply flapped its wings turning into a rainbow-colored light that vanished into the clouds. Chapter 1146 Wang's Hen's Distress Call Translator Born to be it was so fast that it was impossible to track. The attacks of the ninth rank sea demons completely missed. Nice work, Cloud, shouted Long Chen. A bird cry rang out from above the clouds as if in response to Long Chen's encouragement. A rainbow light suddenly shot down like a meteor, 
Cloud had folded its wings and was shooting straight toward a ninth rank sea demon. Boom. A huge hole was forcibly pierced through the sea demon's body. Everyone was shocked. Cloud was only at the seventh rank, but it killed ninth rank sea demon so easily. Not just anyone was capable of recognizing it for a cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow. After all, that was a legendary existence. In the Dragonblood Legion, only Long Chen, Men Qi, and Tang Wan Er knew its origin. The cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow had been expelled from the Zuan beasts. That was why it was best not to tell everyone about Cloud's identity. However, even Long Chen, Men Qi, and Tang Wan Er were shocked by Cloud's power. The cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow is far stronger than I ever imagined. We definitely need to let it have its freedom. Seeing Cloud completely dominating these sea demons. Long Chen was awed. He saw that Cloud was hunting the ninth rank sea demons, and it was trying different moves, different angles. It was honing its instincts and hunting abilities. Cloud was as quick as lightning, and its attacks only grew sharper and mightier. Any ninth rank sea demons it killed would be directly swallowed by it. Seeing this, Men Qi couldn't help but sigh. She had always been worried about Cloud growing too fast because of its innate deficiency, but she had forgotten. The cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow was no ordinary magical beast. It had its own inheritance. She had already helped make up for practically all of its innate deficiency. Whatever little bit remained could be naturally made up by cloud. Now that cloud had advanced to the seventh rank, its core runes had been activated, and it was crazily absorbing flesh to make up for its deficiency. It was even more effective than when Menki prepared special medicine balls for it. So Menki couldn't help but feel ashamed. She had clung too much to her knowledge as a beast tamer. Although Long Chen wasn't even a beast tamer, and he didn't know much about the habits of magical beasts, he still saw more than she could. Cloud's one thing, but Wild really is a monster. How can he eat so much without his stomach exploding? Tang Wan Er looked at Wild with shock. It had been several hours. Other people would directly put away the corpses of the ninth rank sea demons they had killed to be exchanged for points. But Wild would kill one and eat one. Others had gathered a few hundred ninth rank sea demons during this time, but wild speed was probably ten times theirs. Even after eating so many, he was still hungry. Each ninth rank sea demon was like a small mountain, and even though their corpses were shrunk with a king item, that was just a spatial restriction. They weren't truly small. Once they entered his stomach, they would return to their original size. No one dared to try eating a ninth rank sea demon like that. It would cause their body to explode. But Wild was still eating them without pause. Wild is also undergoing some kind of transformation. He needs lots of meat as well, said Long Chen. Long Chen had talked about Wild with the Zuan Master. The Zuan Master had said that the barbarian race only existed in legend and that there was no way to say anything about them for sure. Apparently, there had been some mixed blooded barbarian races that were essentially the same as magical beasts, due to their berserk natures. They had become the enemies of the entire cultivation world and were exterminated back in the immortal era. After that, Long Chen just kept his mouth shut about Wild. He knew too little about the barbarian race. It was best to keep Wild's status as low-key as possible. Wild was starting to advance. Because he relied on the energy within the meat to advance. His cultivation path was different from everyone else's. No one knew what his limit was. But after eating a thousand ninth rank sea demons. His expression still didn't change, and that was a bit frightening. Wild's stomach was like a bottomless pit. Looking from Wild to Cloud, Long Chen bitterly smiled. It seemed trying to get rich off selling sea demon corpses wasn't going to happen. As soon as Cloud defeated and ate one, it would move on to the next. Its body was slowly growing as it ate more, and its runes began to activate, expelling impurities from the food it had eaten and keeping only the essence. This was definitely a terrifying way to advance. It was constantly eating and getting stronger in battle, and it was a kind of flawless advancement. Long Chen just watched as the Dragonblood Legion fought. He kept the flying boat on standby just in case they encountered a 10th rank sea demon. Although he had heard that 10th rank sea demons would not appear when the beast tide was brewing, who could guarantee anything? It was better to be careful. After fighting for three days, even the Dragonblood Legion was starting to get tired. Furthermore, because of this non stop intense fighting, Quite a few people had ended up being so tired that they were injured in battle. But with the healing disciples present, everything was still fine. Long Chen didn't give the order to retreat yet. Men Qi and Tang Wan Er had an urge to fight as well. But they were held back by Long Chen. A battle against the will was also important. 
the more tired they became and the more there will slack, the easier accidents would occur, but it would also temper them more, when there was no longer a tide of ninth rank sea demons charging at them, all the warriors sighed with relief, they sat on the flying boat, exhausted, as for the dragon mark warriors, they directly fell asleep, feeling like their bodies were empty, only wild and cloud were still full of energy, wild's bronze skin had some faint runes shining on it, and his aura was still growing, it was like a sleeping dragon was about to awaken within his body, as for cloud, it had just advanced to the 8th rank the day before, that kind of speed was absolutely shocking, Long Chen immediately stopped cloud from eating anymore, because its aura was starting to fluctuate, that was a sign its realm was growing unsteady, it couldn't keep eating, he personally refined a few medicinal pills to stabilize its realm. It could kill sea demons for rations now, but it couldn't eat them immediately. Now everyone saw how terrifying Cloud could be. It simply spread its wings, and its runes lit up. Millions of rays of light shot out, slaughtering the ninth rank sea demons. Then it opened its mouth and a green line of light shot out, blowing apart the sea demons. That light only flashed once, because if it was used twice, there wouldn't be any rations left. Even Long Chen and Men Qi, who had personally seen the 10th rank Cloud chasing Heaven Swallowing Sparrow, were shocked by Cloud's abilities. It had such terrifying abilities at just the 8th rank. This kind of power had surpassed their understanding. Even if Men Qi summoned all her 9th rank magical beasts, they wouldn't necessarily be able to beat Cloud. Very likely, they would all be killed by it, because not only was it powerful, but it was also incredibly fast. Wanting to flee in front of it was just a joke. They had truly killed an immense number of ninth rank sea demons this time. Millions of corpses had filled their spatial rings, and there was nowhere else to put them. Long Chen tossed the leftovers that no one had room for into the primal chaos space's black soil. The iron spruce oaks rapidly grew and would soon reach their peak. The primal chaos space was now flourishing with life, giving Long Chen confidence. He wouldn't have to worry about being injured now. Hmm. Long Chen's expression suddenly changed. A symbol lit up on a jade tablet on his waist, and an ear-piercing alarm rang out. Wang's hen's in danger. Long Chen saw that it was the red symbol that represented Wang's hen. It was rapidly flashing, meaning it was an urgent distress call. This was one of the Zhuanshan Dao sect's tools. It could sense copies of itself within a range of half a million miles. And as long as they were within a couple hundred thousand miles, they could accurately pinpoint their locations. What happened? Did he run into a 10th rank sea demon? Asked Men Qi. Men Qi. One or. Look at these coordinates. Fly in that direction. Long Chen then jumped onto Cloud's back and said. Cloud. Use your fastest speed. Let me see what it means to chase the clouds. Cloud let out a clear bird cry and transformed into a seven colored ray of light. The sound of its bird cry still hung in the air. But its figure had already vanished from their sight. Chapter 1147 The Heaven Suppressing Magic Sect Sneak Attack Translator. Born to be this fool. Why didn't he bring us? Seeing Long Chen fly away with Cloud, Tang Wan'er couldn't help being a bit irritated. According to reason, he should have brought several powerful helpers as well. If Wang's hen sent out a distress call, this matter definitely isn't normal. No matter how many ninth rank sea demons there were, he would still be able to use the flying boat to run. If it's not a tenth rank sea demon, then Long Chen is enough. And if it is, then all of us together won't be enough anyway. Long Chen has cloud speed now, and if he can't beat the enemies, he can still escape with Cloud. He doesn't have time to explain that, so don't blame him, said Men Qi. No wonder Long Chen loves you so much. You really understand him, said Tang Wan'er a bit enviously. Are you even getting jealous of me now? Don't mess around. We have to hurry over to the location Long Chen told us to go to. Men Qi turned to everyone else. With the flying boat's speed, we'll have four hours to rest. Hurry and recover in case of a big battle. Everyone immediately focused on recovering. The healing disciples used their wood attribute energy to envelop the entire legion. An image of a huge tree appeared in the air above them and life energy poured over them all. Lying on Cloud's back, Long Chen finally learned what it meant to chase clouds and follow lightning. He wasn't able to see anything in front of him. He wasn't even able to stand. And even though he was kneeling, the wind was like blades on his skin. He estimated that ordinary foundation forging experts wouldn't even be able to withstand it and would be blown off. Cloud, you really are amazing. Long Chen didn't hold back on his praise. Cloud's speed was truly amazing. Cloud was several times faster than a flying boat's max speed. Furthermore, 
Cloud was able to accelerate to its peak speed in just a few breaths. As for a flying boat, it needed an incense stick's worth of time to reach its max. The flying boat was just starting, while Cloud had vanished from sight. That was the difference. Furthermore, Cloud had just reached the 8th rank. If it advanced to the 9th or even the 10th rank, Long Chen couldn't imagine what its speed would be like. Long Chen stared at the Jade Tablet. He was rapidly approaching the marker. Rumbling sounds rang out from ahead, and in just a breath, he saw a battlefield in front of him. Thousands of black-robed people who had covered their faces had surrounded Wang Chen's 20,000 disciples. They were holding staves in their hands, constantly unleashing powerful magical arts. As for Wang Chen's flying boat, it was crippled and couldn't fly anymore. The magical arts had formed a huge cage surrounding them, while flying swords, huge hatchets, runic hammers, and all sorts of magical arts flew toward them. Wang Chen had summoned a huge gold-shelled insect in the front of an army of countless various insects. Just on his own, he blocked almost half the attacks, but he was also paying a miserable price. Countless insect corpses covered the sea, practically piling into mountains. Despite paying this price, they were still in desperate straits. The sky full of magical arts were impossible to dodge. Thousands of disciples had already died. Amongst the assailants were two rank six celestials. Their magical arts were incredibly powerful, and the majority of Wang Chen's insects were killed by them. Furthermore, a portion of their attacks pierced through the insects and landed amongst the disciples, killing them. Ha ha ha, idiots from the Zhuanshan Dao sect. Is there still a need to struggle? If you give up, you won't feel any pain, shouted one of the masked attackers. Bastard, I remember your voice. You're that rat who fought Hua Shiyu, roared Wang Chen. At first, he had had suspicions that they were from the heaven-suppressing magic sect after all. They were all holding staves and unleashing long-distance magical arts. It was truly suspicious. Moreover, they were very familiar with the Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples' methods of fighting. As soon as they had arrived, they had forced them into a passive position. However, they refused to say anything when the Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples demanded they tell them who they were. Now this person was pleased with himself and opened his mouth and Wang Chen immediately recognized him. That was because his voice was too irritating and hard to forget. That person immediately regretted speaking, so he shut his mouth and focused on attacking. Everyone, focus. Don't leave even a single one alive, shouted a black-robed rank six celestial. More and more attacks rained down on the Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples, and Wang Chen's expression changed. He had summoned his strongest defensive insects. But even they were unable to bear such terrifying attacks and were being killed one by one. Once his insect army was slain, there would no longer be any protection for the disciples. They would all be killed. The heaven-suppressing magic sect's disciples were too despicable. Before Wang Chen's army had even understood what was happening, they had forced them into a death trap that was impossible to breach. Wang Chen was filled with hatred and regret. He hated himself for being stupid. If Long Chen had been present, he would have instantly seen through his enemy's trap and chosen to attack at the beginning instead of choosing to passively defend like this. Now they were all in desperate straits. Although they had put out a distress signal, the reinforcements were too far away. Long Chen would need at least four hours to get here. Looking at the current situation, they wouldn't even be able to last another incense stick's worth of time. Wang Chen had already summoned his mother insect. It was only through it that he managed to defend against the rank six celestials but there was no way he could use it to beat his opponents. Don't get too pleased yet. Once senior apprentice brother Long Chen learns of this, your deaths will be far worse than ours. Brothers, don't be afraid. Since the day we stepped onto the cultivation path, we knew this day would come sooner or later. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen will definitely get revenge for us cried a disciple. Ha ha ha, I'm very busy and don't have the time to get revenge for you. You should get revenge on your own. Suddenly, thunderous laughter rang out and all the Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples who heard it were filled with wild delight. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, boom, an azure line of light flew through the crowd, and the heaven-suppressing magic sect's disciples that were struck were instantly blown to bits. A clear bird cry rang out. Only now did Cloud's figure appear before their eyes. This was the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow's innate divine ability. In just one blow, over a hundred of the attackers were killed. Two huge openings appeared in their encirclement. With those disciples killed, the magical art barrier collapsed. I didn't go attack the heaven-suppressing magic sect, but you decided to send yourselves to me. Don't blame me for not standing on courtesy. Brothers, kill them down to the last. 
Following Long Chen's roar, the trapped Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples let out a furious roar. They launched an all-out attack against the previously wildly arrogant but now slightly panicked heaven-suppressing magic sect's disciples. Long Chen had already jumped off cloud and shot toward the two rank six celestials. The two of them were likely from the heaven-suppressing magic sect's previous generation, as they had already reached the eighth heaven stage of foundation forging. Run. The two of them looked at each other and decided to directly flee. They didn't even bother with their flying boat or their fellow disciples. Instead, they split up and fled in two different directions. PFFT. A blood red saber image crashed down from the sky without any warning at one of the rank six celestials. That person barely had time to summon a shield before he and the shield were blown to bits. He, even the third form of split the heavens can be used instantly now. All that money was worth it. Long Chen couldn't help but sigh emotionally upon seeing the resulting blood mist. Now. He had finally reached the level that Feng Zingli had displayed in the Eastern Wasteland when he had used the third form of Split the Heavens. 27 of his acupuncture points had been instantly connected, allowing him to unleash the third form without warning. It didn't give his opponent any time to prepare, totally deserving the title of his most powerful killing blow. Before this, he would have had to first lock down his opponent with his aura to use the third form, or by the time he finished brewing the move, his opponent would have fled back home. And even if they didn't flee when they were locked down, they would still use their strongest move to counter. An instantaneous blow had no need for any of this. Furthermore, if it was used while the opponent was running, they wouldn't even be able to do anything. Long Chen was just about to go after the other rank 6 celestial when Cloud shot into motion. It appeared in front of the rank 6 celestial and sent out a claw. That person also summoned a shield. He was extremely crafty. This shield had some special runes on it and when it exploded, it would give him a big boost in speed combined with the power of his opponent's attack. It would make it much easier to run. However, he had misjudged Cloud's power. Its sharp claw shone with runes and easily went through his shield to strike his body. There was no suspense at all. Cloud didn't even need to tighten its claw. That person was instantly blown apart. Chapter 1148 Timely Reinforcements Translator Born to be what kind of attack is this? It can actually avoid the defenses of magical arts. Long Chen saw Cloud's attack clearly. If its attack merely destroyed the defenses, that was one thing. After all, it was a cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow. But when Cloud's claw reached the shield, it was like some mysterious energy had allowed it phase through the shield to land on the rank 6 celestial's body. The heaven suppressing magic sect's disciples had powerful magical arts, but their physical bodies were very weak. It was a fatal weakness and so this rank 6 celestial was instantly killed. Long Chen had no time to reflect on this. After a brief moment of shock, he shot into motion, charging at the heaven-suppressing magic sect's disciples who were now panicked and running in every direction. Long Chen's arrival instantly reversed the tide. The enemy's two top experts were instantly killed, and the remaining ones had no will to continue fighting. They fled, but with Cloud present, fleeing was in vain. With the flap of its wings, it transformed into a rainbow-colored light that swept back and forth, killing the ones who had fled the furthest. Stop, were disciples from the heaven-suppressing magic sect. If you kill us, the heaven-suppressing magic sect won't let you off. PPFT. One of them was killed in the midst of his shouting by one of the Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples. That disciple cursed. Fuck off. You can kill us, but we can't kill you. With Cloud blocking others from fleeing and Long Chen slaughtering anyone remaining, the heaven suppressing magic sect's disciples rapidly fell. No matter how powerful they were, no matter what technique they used, Long Chen would kill them with a single slash of his saber. They were quickly whittled down to just over 200 people. In truth, even at the start, there hadn't been many of them. They had simply relied on a combination magical art to trap all the Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples, perhaps in a one on one. The Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples were still slightly weaker, but now they had over 10 times their number now. The Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples were slaughtering the panicked heaven suppressing magic sect disciples. Long Chen, do you still recognize this bastard? The battle ended quickly. All of the attackers had been killed except for one that Wang Zhen had captured alive. As soon as Long Chen saw that person, he slapped him across the face and nodded. I recognize him. We'll leave him to Hua Shiyu. I'm sure the Heaven Female Alliance has many methods to make him live a life worse than death. If we kill him, it'd be a waste. Do you want to do a soul sark? Asked Wang's hen. 
A soul sark could allow them to learn why the heaven-suppressing magic sect had suddenly attacked the Zhuanchen Dao sect's disciples. Long Chen shook his head. A core disciple like this is under the protection of his sect's divine item. It's the same as the Zhuanchen Tower blessing we received when we joined. Others are unable to use soul sark to see their secrets. And forcing it will end up killing him without learning anything. Time is still pressing. So I'll mark a path. Bring your people to meet up with the Dragonblood Legion. My guess is that you're not the only one who's being attacked. I'm going to group up with Hua Shiyu. As soon as Long Chen finished speaking, he called back Cloud and the two of them vanished in a ray of light. Seeing Long Chen leave, a slightly forlorn expression appeared on Wang Chen's face. When it came to leading people, he could only stare at Long Chen's back. He's a true leader, Guild Head. Long Chen's a leader, but you're also a leader. You're both equally outstanding in our hearts. You sacrificed so many of your houseboats that you raised for many years because of us, and even risked your life to hold back those two rank six celestials. Just that is enough for us to follow you forever. Even if we had to choose again, we'd still follow you, cried a disciple. The other disciples also stood up and agreed. Wang Zhen was a rare insect cultivator, and his houseboats were like his life. But in order to reduce his people's casualties, he had lost practically all of them. And yet, he hadn't even frowned before doing so. That touched all of them. Good brother, there's no need for such words between us. Let's go gather with the Dragonblood Legion. Seeing all these disciples looking at him with zealotry, Wang Zhen was moved. He had always been a somewhat icy person. He had merely established the 10,000 Insect Guild because it was part of his duties as a core disciple. Beyond that, he had never had any wild thoughts of fighting for supremacy Novaloon.com but Long Chen had changed Wang Chen's way of thinking, as every member of the Dragonblood Legion was following Long Chen to the death. Thus, for the first time in his life, Wang Chen thought of leading a group of people that he could treat as life and death brothers. Later, he was fully convinced by Long Chen's charisma, but at the same time, he was feeling more and more ashamed of himself, feeling like he wasn't a capable leader. However, today, he could feel the trust and support that all his people gave him. Just like Long Chen, he also had a group of hot-blooded brothers that were loyal to him. Wang Chen began to lead them according to the direction Long Chen had indicated. As for Long Chen, he was rushing straight to Hua Shiyu's position with Cloud. Fortunately, the distance between them wasn't that far. Cloud quickly reached Hua Shiyu's group with its peak speed. What are you doing here, Long Chen? Hua Shiyu was surprised to see him arrive. My Dragonblood Legion has too many men, making life too boring. He, you understand, joked Long Chen. Long Chen jumped onto their flying boat while leaving Cloud to hide itself above the clouds. Perhaps he had arrived too early, but that was good in any case. Hua Shiyu didn't know what was going on, as the distress signal had only gone out to Long Chen's master Jade Tablet. Hua Shiyu was capable of using her Jade Tablet to send out a distress call, but she couldn't receive it. Their jade tablets were only able to sense each other's locations. There was no way around it. If all their tablets could receive distress signals, their effective range would have to be greatly shortened. In order to keep their range as great as possible, their flexibility had to be reduced. Aren't you worried about Menki and Wanner coming to find you? Hua Shiyu might not like any man, but she treated Long Chen differently. She actually joked back. Haha, I'm not afraid. But in any case, they'll never know laughed Long Chen. It was unknown whether or not it was because of the touching that had occurred last time, but Hua Shiyu was much warmer to him now. Long Chen's arrival caused the Heaven Female Alliance's disciples to erupt into cheering, and they charged over. That made Hua Shiyu roar. Are you all done with your work? Have all the sea demons been killed or you don't even care about this chance to make money? Long Chen is the Zhuanchen Dao sect's most outstanding figure. If his wise eyes start to favor one of us, who would care about points? They'd be nothing in comparison. He, some of the women immediately retorted. Although Hua Shiyu was icy to outsiders, especially men, she treated her own people very well. After being together for so long, her disciples had long since realized her character. Her exterior was like a blade, but her heart was soft inside. They weren't afraid at all. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, when are you going to win over our alliance master? Then all the Heaven Female Alliance's beauties would attend to you. One of the particularly brazen maidens shouted such a valiant thing. Long Chen was struck dumb. There was such a possibility? By winning over one, he'd win over tens of thousands of other beauties? No, there was no way he could think of such a thing. But if he didn't think of it, wouldn't he be less than a beast? 
Who is Shiayu turned red, and she searched for the person who had just shouted. But that woman was smart, and she had run immediately after shouting. Ha ha ha, the Zuanshan Daosect's women are all here? Excellent. Not one of you will get away today. Brothers, we'll be able to play to our heart's content tonight. Suddenly, a huge flying boat appeared in front of them without any warning. Buzz. Over 10,000 figures appeared in the air, and each one of them waved a staff. Together, they formed a spherical barrier to envelop the whole Heaven Female Alliance. At the same time, ice began to float in the air, condensing into huge icicles that sealed the world. Girls from the Zuanshan Deo sect, come receive your guests. Just as the Heaven Female Alliance's disciples were shocked and panicked, a group of people appeared outside the barrier, seeing the person speaking. Long Chen narrowed his eyes. It was once more a familiar person. This was the person with the disgusting mouth who had fought against Tang Wan'er. Although he was masked, he didn't conceal his voice at all. You're that bastard from the Heaven Suppressing Magic Sect. Don't think we won't recognize you just because you're wearing a mask, shouted the Heaven Female Alliance's disciples. Long Chen shook his head. Perhaps he had done this on purpose in order to make the Heaven Female Alliance's women guess their status. Then they would think this was a battle, not a slaughter. Long Chen saw that whether it was Hua Shiai or Xiao Ziyan, no one had recognized the severity of this attack. Right now, they were all just furiously cursing at the figures outside the barrier. If they had immediately launched an all-out attack when the barrier first formed, there would have been a chance to escape. But that chance vanished quickly. By guessing their opponent's status, they lost sight of the fact that they were currently in a death trap. Long Chen couldn't help but feel a bit helpless. Perhaps Wang Zhen had also been baited like this, taking advantage of when they were shocked and still didn't understand. Their death trap was perfectly set up. By the time they understood, it would be too late. Long Chen continued to hide amongst the crowd. None of these attackers had seen him yet. And at this moment, another figure appeared outside the barrier. One that caused Hua Shiayu and the others' expressions to change. Chapter 1149 Once more fighting Hans Henayu translator. Born to be this person was wearing a conical hat that blocked his face. Furthermore, this conical hat was a special tool that isolated him from divine sense. But Hua Shiayu, Xiao Ziyan, and all the others knew who he was. Hans Henayu. Their hearts shook. They hadn't expected Hans Henayu to appear here. A large hand tore off the hat revealing a scalp that looked like centipedes were wriggling all over it. He was indeed the heaven-suppressing magic sect's strongest expert of the junior generation, Hans Henayu. Back then, Hans Henayu's cultivation base had been at the third heaven stage of foundation forging. But today, he was already at the seventh heaven stage. His terrifying aura could be sensed even through the barrier, causing all of them to tremble. Hans Henayu was a rank 7 celestial and had an innate suppression over lower ranking celestials. As soon as he released his aura, he made them all feel like a mountain was crushing their hearts. It was hard to breathe under that pressure. If you don't want to die, then obediently surrender. We don't want your lives. We just want to have a chat with the Zuanshan Deo sect, said Hans Henayu. HMPH, what would you chat about? You came all the way to the Zuanshan Deo sect's defensive region to sneak attack us. It's clearly a premeditated provocation. So what is there to talk about? replied Hua Shiayu coldly. Long Chen continued to hide himself. He secretly told Hua Shiayu to speak with Hans Henayu to see if they could dredge up any useful information. Since you want to die, don't blame us for being ruthless. Hans Henayu frowned and extended his hand. The seven stars reflect on the runic sea manifestation appeared behind him, causing heaven and earth to tremble. Senior apprentice brother Han, these are all beauties. Killing them would be too regretful. Is it possible for us? That disciple who had once fought Tang Wan'er pled with him. I'll give you an incense stick's worth of time. If you can't capture them, kill them all. Ordered Hans Henayu after a moment of hesitation. Haha, <laughs> many thanks. Senior apprentice brother Han. Don't worry, that prettiest one will be yours. Hua Shiayu's expression was ashen. She was unable to comprehend how these heaven-suppressing magic sects disciples that were also part of the righteous path could be so despicable. What she didn't know was that the heaven-suppressing magic sect's disciples didn't cultivate the Dao. They cultivated magical arts. Their requirements for the physical body were low, and they focused more on spiritual strength. To a man, having a weak physical body could be a fatal blow to their confidence. Which man didn't want to have the strongest body, but they didn't have that. No matter how powerful their magical arts were, 
they weren't able to make up for that feeling of inferiority at the bottom of their hearts. People who felt inferior normally wanted to show how amazing they were in front of everyone to cover up the weakness in their hearts. So the heaven-suppressing magic sect's disciples were all arrogant and insulted others to display their strength. Other than insulting and looking down on others, they had another way to build up their self-esteem, and that involved women. When they subdued a woman, they would feel a kind of comfort, especially when it was a strong woman. The stronger the woman they subdued, the more pride they would feel. Therefore, a lot of the heaven-suppressing magic sect's disciples had their heads filled with lecherous thoughts. To put it frankly, their hearts were a bit twisted. They were a bit better than the eunuchs in the royal palace, but only a bit. Now seeing all these women, all of them had a lecherous light in their eyes. Certain places were already bulging. Only by subduing powerful women could they feel like men. Brothers, it's up to your own abilities. Attack. 10,000 spirit restrictions. Following the shout from the first disciple, the other disciples waved their staves, and over 10,000 illusory spirit beasts appeared out of the barrier. There were wolves, insects, tigers, leopards, birds, and fish. Each person was controlling one. Suddenly, the barrier brightened and the beasts roared. Even though they were protected by the flying boat's defenses, the Heaven Female Alliance's disciples felt like they were about to faint. That had been a sound wave attack. Trapped within the barrier, the sound waves repeatedly echoed. And as they continued unleashing this attack, the magnitude only grew more intense. Seeing the beauties holding their ears with pained expressions, all the heaven-suppressing magic sect's disciples smiled lecherously. They didn't even notice a large figure slowly approaching them. An azure light condensed in the air. Its sound was blocked out by the sound waves of their magical arts. Hans Henayu, it's been a while. Is your face still well? Long Chen's voice contained a special energy that made it resound over the sound waves. It was far more domineering than the sound waves. His voice was like a dragon's roar, and it even caused the barrier to shake. Long Chen didn't know any sound wave attacks, so he had merely backed his voice with the power of his spiritual yuan. The attacking disciples lost the ability to hear anything for a while just from how loud his voice was. Seeing Long Chen, all the heaven-suppressing magic sect's disciples' pupils shrank, and Hans Henayu's expression changed. He had never imagined that Long Chen would be hiding amongst the women. A feeling of unease suddenly rose from his heart. Something's up. Run. Ordered Hans Henayu. Regretfully, the heaven-suppressing magic sect's disciples were still unable to hear anything after Long Chen's roar. A huge azure light smashed into the barrier, instantly blowing it apart. The azure light also exploded, unleashing berserk energy. The disciples were all located at different parts of the barrier. But this explosion of the azure light. This one attack, instantly killed half of them. The disciples who were far away enough to escape the explosion were still injured by the backlash of the barrier exploding, and they wildly vomited blood. This attack was naturally from cloud. Thousands of the heaven-suppressing magic sect's disciples had been killed in one blow. The heaven female alliance's disciples still didn't know what was happening. Long Chen had already arrived in front of Hans Henayu. Blood drinker pointed toward the sky. Hans Henayu. Let me see how much you've progressed during this time to dare come seeking death again. Hans Henayu found himself locked down by Long Chen's saber, not daring to be careless. He hastily took out his golden sword. Hans Henayu was sent flying, shocked. Even though he had reached the late foundation forging realm, he was still unable to use his superior cultivation base to suppress Long Chen. Although Long Chen was only at the third heaven stage of foundation forging, he had spent 550 million yuan spirit stones to reach that level. His 108,000 immortal platforms gave him immense power. Even Long Chen didn't know how powerful he was now. After sending Hans Henayu flying with one blow, Long Chen looked back at Hua Shiayu and the others who were still dumbstruck. Kill them all. You don't need to worry about them running because Cloud will kill them. I'll cut down this idiot Hans Henayu. Long Chen was already after him. Hans Henayu had his manifestation active and a golden giant appeared behind him. It held a golden sword. This golden sword was the king item sword he had used before. Now he had given it to this giant. HMPH. I'll let you see my golden battle general's power, roared Hans Henayu. He flew to the head of the golden giant, forming hand seals. He sat directly on its forehead. Suddenly, the golden giant swung his sword and sneered. Long Chen, this is a magical art I just learned. Today, I'll use you to practice with it. Letting you be the first person to be killed by my golden battle general. Long Chen was a bit surprised. 
Hans Henayu had actually merged with his golden giant to better control it. It was his first time seeing such a magical art. Die. Hans Henayu roared and slashed the giant golden sword at Long Chen. Long Chen sneered. You're the one who will die. His divine ring appeared behind him, and four stars appeared in his eyes. Blood drinker slashed out. Boom. Huge waves exploded on the sea and soared up into the sky. The other fighting disciples hastily circulated their spiritual yuan to defend against the impact. The Heaven Female Alliance's disciples were surprised to see that the Heaven Suppressing Magic Sect's disciples were taking out shields to block the sea waves. They actually stopped attacking. Their physical bodies are weak. Kill them, cried one of the Heaven Female Alliance's disciples. Ignoring the waves, she unleashed a full-strength sword attack. Bitch, you've gone mad. You'll also die like this, roared the disciple being attacked. Then let's see who will die. The female disciple ignored his cry. Her sword shattered that person's defense, and at the same time, they were struck by the terrifying sea wave. She vomited blood and shot back, while the heaven-suppressing magic sect's disciple was directly blown to bits by the wave. The heaven female alliance's disciples' eyes brightened. This was a good chance. They all ignored the waves to unleash full-strength attacks and were heavily injured by them. But the heaven-suppressing magic sect's disciples who had their defenses broken were all torn apart. Quite a few of their souls flew out and tried to escape, but the female disciples unleashed powerful spiritual magical arts that completely extinguished them. Hua Shiyu and Xiao Ziyan were going all out to kill them all. Both of them were fighting against hundreds of them at the same time, and it went without saying that they were powerful. They were temporarily tied. Split the heavens three. Blood drinker hacked down, smashing into the golden sword. Chapter 1150 Intense Fight Above the Sea Translator born to be boom. When Bloodrinker met the golden giant sword, the sea beneath them exploded, and huge waves blocked the sun. The golden giant was sent flying by Long Chen's attack. Cracks appeared on its body, but they quickly healed. The seven stars reflect on the runic sea behind the golden giant was giving it endless energy. Die. Long Chen's roar was like thunder through the air. He repeatedly slashed Bloodrinker out, unleashing waves of blood red light. His 108,000 immortal platforms were giving him boundless strength, and he felt like he couldn't even use up all his energy. Each of his attacks came faster and more vicious than the last. This was his first time truly fighting after reaching the third vestige of foundation forging. Therefore, he didn't dare to immediately raise his power to the peak. He was worried about his body not being able to endure such a sudden leap. That was because even he didn't know how terrifying the energy within his 108,000 original runes was. He needed to increase his power bit by bit. Each of his blows had the weight of a mountain, causing huge waves to explode out of the sea. Bastard, how are you so strong? Hans Henai was infuriated. The first time they had fought, he had merely been at the early foundation forging realm. After his defeat, he had gone all out increasing his cultivation base, advancing to the seventh vestige in just a few months. He had practically caught up to the previous generation's disciples. His battle power had multiplied, but now he found that Long Chen was suppressing him without his green dragon battle armor. Each of Long Chen's attacks was difficult for him to bear. Hans Henayu finally roared, and the seven stars reflect on the runic sea disappeared. All that energy poured into his body. His blood key suddenly erupted, and his golden giant turned red as he summoned his spirit blood. Blood-colored runes covered its body. Die. Hans Henayu held his sword with both hands. It pointed toward the sky and then slashed down. Boom. Blood drinker slashed into Hans Henayu's golden sword, and immense power erupted like a volcano. Long Chen's immortal platforms began to revolve faster and faster, giving him inexhaustible energy. Huge sea waves surged out, containing their energy. Hua Shiyu was shocked and was just about to tell everyone to defend when she suddenly heard Xiao Ziyan's voice. I'll block it. We'll borrow Long Chen's power to annihilate all of them. The heaven-suppressing magic sect's disciples saw these terrifying waves and hastily retreated. They gave up attacking, and all of them gathered together. Now there were only 3,000 of them left. Using their powerful magical arts, they continued struggling. But these huge waves were absolutely terrifying. They contained the terrifying power of both Long Chen and Hans Henayu, let alone the physical body. Even steel would be torn to bits. Under the command of three rank six celestials, all the heaven-suppressing magic sect's disciples gathered and combined their energy to block this terrifying impact. Now wasn't the time for either side to continue fighting. It was all up to who would be able to endure this terrifying wave. Buzz. 
As all the heaven-suppressing magic sects disciple Shantae Dian waved their staves, a huge spherical barrier appeared around them. That barrier had only just appeared when another one condensed around it, then a third and a fourth, until there were nine barriers protecting them. Damn slots, go meet your deaths. Ha ha ha. After establishing their defenses, the heaven-suppressing magic sect's disciples sneered at the heaven female alliance that had yet to even gather. In their opinion, even if they did create defenses, they wouldn't be as secure as their sides. Even if they managed to endure the wave, at least half of them would die. The Heaven Female Alliance's disciples had killed so many of them. Now they finally had a chance to strike back. The Spirit of Water, Water Dragon overflows the heavens. Just as the Heaven Suppressing Magic Sect's disciples were sneering at them, Shao Ziyan rapidly formed hand seals, and a rune lit up on her forehead. Life energy blossomed out of her and the water suddenly rose Novaloon.com a huge water dragon formed. It was so huge that they couldn't even see its full body. It rapidly coiled around the Heaven Female Alliance's disciples, protecting them. Boom. The huge wave struck them. Both the water dragon and the nine barriers were sent flying. When their vision cleared, the Heaven Suppressing Magic Sect's disciples cheered loudly. They had survived safe and sound, and their barriers weren't the slightest bit damaged. Did those slots die? Looking around. They saw that the water dragon was gone, and all the Heaven Female Alliance's disciples had also disappeared. They couldn't have all died, right? That's such a waste, sighed one of them. Wait, there's someone there. Suddenly, someone cried out. A figure had appeared in the air at some unknown point, coldly looking at them. Heaven and Earth Limitless Flower Arrow, who is Shiaiu smiled coldly, finishing her final hand seal. A huge arrow condensed before her. It was formed entirely of flower petals and shot forward. In front of the heaven suppressing magic sect's disciple shocked gazes, their barriers were broken through one by one. But regretfully, Hua Shiyu's full strength attack only broke through eight of their barriers. In the end, it ran out of energy when striking the last barrier. Ha ha ha, brothers, capture her. She's the only one left, so make sure not to accidentally kill her, laughed one of the heaven suppressing magic sect's disciples. Just at this moment, the surface of the sea exploded and a huge water dragon appeared. There was a completely undamaged flying boat resting above its head. The water dragon immediately opened its mouth and shot at them, causing the heaven-suppressing magic sect's disciples' expressions to completely change. Strengthen the barrier, roared a rank six celestial, and he pressed his staff against the final barrier. The other disciples also moved to support it. The water dragon spat out a huge water arrow at the barrier. It was like a bolt of lightning striking an apple. In one single boom, all the heaven-suppressing magic sect's disciples disappeared. As for the water arrow, it continued onward past the horizon. Wow, Sister Shao Ziyan is so amazing. The heaven female alliance burst into cheers. All of them were shocked by Shao Ziyan's terrifying trump card. Shao Ziyan bitterly smiled. If I was this amazing, I'd have used this move a long time ago, and the battle would have been over. I only managed to do this by using the water dragon to absorb Long Chen and Hans Hen Ayu's power. But no matter what, you still managed to kill all our enemies. Now it's up to Long Chen. Who is Shiyu and the others looked into the far distance where sea waves were still raging. Explosions were constantly ringing out there, and the waves only grew more and more intense. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen really is amazing. Not only is he handsome, but he's also so powerful, and he cares about his people. If I could gain his favor, even death would be worth it. Quite a few maidens had their hearts sway as they looked at that practically apocalyptic scene in the distance. Hua Shiyu and Zhao Ziyan looked at each other, both seeing the trace of helplessness and bitterness in the other's eyes. When they had first joined the Zhuanchen Dao sect, they had felt Long Chen to just be a rookie. But as time passed, he soared like a shooting star. Now they could only look up to him. The charisma of an unrevealed hero was naturally unstoppable. Practically all of them hoped to stay with such a figure for their lives. Furthermore, Long Chen's charisma was not limited to just his unrevealed power. The most moving aspect was how he cared about others. If anyone touched his brothers or sisters, he would immediately become a devil god and fight with his life on the line. He was like an untamable devil god. It was a very dangerous feeling, yet it was also very stimulating, making them have an urge to subdue him or to be subdued by him. Boom. The huge sea waves forced the flying boat to retreat further and further away. At the core of the waves, Long Chen was still fighting the golden giant. Their disproportionate figures continuously clashed. 
Long Chen's 108,000 immortal platforms were pouring energy into him to the point that he felt like his meridians were starting to swell. That was a sign that they were about to reach their limit. So my physical body can only endure 80% of the power of the 108,000 immortal platforms. But that's enough. Long Chen smiled. He had finally finished testing his limit. The true battle started now. Buzz. Bloodrinker's runes began to revolve. And a berserk aura erupted. Chapter 1151 Luring the Tiger Off of Its Mountain Translator Born to be Bloodrinker's runes activated, and it was like an ancient beast was awakening. A terrifying pressure descended. Hans Henayu's golden giant was instantly blown back. You, how can you activate a king item's power? Hans Henayu was completely shocked. King items were weapons only kings could use. To use them required the power of a jade core. When it came to true power, Hans Henayu could easily fight across realms and defaturing kings. But that was in theory. In reality, if he encountered a king, his power would only allow him to run. That was because kings could activate their king items. Their power could shake heaven and earth. As for Hans Henayu, although he had a king item, he only had a portion of his king item's approval. He could use it, but he couldn't truly use its power. A king item that couldn't unleash its power had two uses. One was that because its material was hard enough, you didn't need to worry about it being damaged. The second reason was to be a poser. Geniuses who could subdue a king item in the foundation forging realm were extremely rare. So using a king item to show off was very effective. But Long Chen's blood drinker was different. It wasn't used to show off. It was his companion that fought alongside him. And they had cultivated a sincere connection. Blood drinker was willing to lend its power to Long Chen. On the other hand, Long Chen wouldn't be able to use any other king items. Other king items were like stingy wives. Their money was their money, and others shouldn't even think about touching it. This comparison was a bit vulgar, but it really was like this. Hans Henayu's king item had acknowledged Hans Henayu, but he was still him, while it was still it. That was why Hans Henayu was shocked and envious that Long Chen could activate a king item's power. He was exceptionally furious because the reason Blood Drinker had advanced was because of him. Thinking of this made him want to cough up blood. Last time, his core had been gravely injured and it had taken many resources to fully heal. That had all been caused by Blood Drinker absorbing his energy. Now his eyes were red. You're not my son, so why should I tell you? Or do you want to say some final words before your death? Sneered Long Chen. In truth, Blood Drinker had only recently advanced, and its core runes hadn't fully formed yet. The amount of power it could unleash was limited, but this was still enough to delight Long Chen. With Blood Drinker's assistance, Long Chen's attacks were even sharper and his combat power multiplied. Boom. Suddenly, Long Chen sent Hans Henayu flying with the third form of Split the Heavens. Now, Long Chen and Blood Drinker were completely suppressing him. Hans Henayu's golden giant became covered with cracks. As he retreated, an azure light shot down from the sky and smashed into its waist. With an explosive sound, the cracked golden giant was pierced through by Cloud's attack. Bastard. Even a feathered brute dares to attack me. Hans Henayu furiously sent a ray of sword key at Cloud, but this sword key was shattered midway by Long Chen's saber. Cloud might be powerful, but it still hadn't fully matured. It couldn't endure being struck by such a powerful attack. Cloud, don't mess around. Just go play at the side, shouted Long Chen. Cloud flew away, while Long Chen once more attacked Hans Henayu. With yet another slash of his saber, Hans Henayu's golden giant completely shattered. It was a pure exchange of power with no flashiness at all. Bastard. I'm unable to display the superiority of my earth energy above the sea. Just wait. I'll come find you later. Other than that, I'll help put away your dragon blood legion's corpses. Roared Hans Henayu. After saying that, he took out two talismans and pasted them on his fist. He then raised his heels and ran away. He crossed a hundred miles in a single step. Instantly disappearing from Long Chen's sight. Ground contraction talismans. Long Chen's expression changed slightly. This was a kind of ancient talisman that had the effect of contracting the ground between steps. It raised a person's speed by a hundred times. Cloud let out a bird cry and flew over to Long Chen. It was ready to chase. Chasing prey was the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrows instincts. The faster the prey, the more cloud wanted to chase. It was like it was a provocation to it. Long Chen was prepared to chase when the jade tablet on his waist lit up again, letting out an alarm. HMPH, as expected, they were luring the tiger off the mountain, but the dragonblood legion doesn't have just one tiger. Long Chen smiled coldly, 
He jumped onto Cloud, and after giving Hua Shiyu some instructions, he shot off. Hans Henayu's courage was already broken, and that golden giant had exhausted plenty of his core energy. His current combat power was down to 20% of his peak, and Long Chen didn't believe he would dare to come back. Furthermore, even if he did return to attack Hua Shiyu and the others, he might never be able to leave again. Long Chen wasn't worried. Due to the Martial Heaven Alliance's rules, kings would not appear here except in special circumstances. No one would dare to send a king here. Then they would become the Martial Heaven Alliance's enemy. If the only attackers were Foundation Forging Disciples, Long Chen wasn't worried. But he couldn't figure out why the Heaven Suppressing Magic Sect would suddenly sneak attack the Zhuanshan Dao Sect. Was it really purely for revenge? Although the Zuan Master had said that the cultivation world was filled with idiots and they didn't have too much skill with what they did, that kind of reason was truly idiotic. Is it to weaken the Dao Sect so that they can't defend this zone and have their rights revoked? However, how could they know where everyone had been? First, they had attacked Wang's Hen to draw him over, and then they had attacked Hua Shiyu. If Long Chen hadn't had Cloud, then with only his own speed, Long Chen would have arrived just in time to see the 10,000 Insect Guild be completely annihilated. All he would have seen was a mountain of corpses, and just as his fury soared, Hua Shiyu would be attacked, and by the time he arrived there, he would once more be too late. If this plan had succeeded, then he would go crazy with rage. Was this plan all to target him? As he flew forward, he heard explosions coming from ahead. Wild, Menki, Tang Wan'er, and Yu Zifeng were crazily fighting a man with a horn on his head. That man was an ancient race expert, and the seven stars reflect on the runic sea manifestation was behind him. He also held a staff that unleashed all kinds of magical arts, which allowed him to fight equally against the four of them. He was extremely terrifying. He had reached the ninth heavenstage of foundation forging and his magical arts transformed extremely quickly, overwhelming others, long spears, large halberds, flying swords, ancient bells, and all other kinds of magical arts came out of him, each attack contained immense power, his power was even greater than Hans Henayu's, Wilde had summoned the barbarian blood bronze body and was crazily smashing his club at him, regardless of the magical art he tried, he was unable to beat back Wilde, each magical art was shattered by a single swing of his club, Menki continuously formed hand seals. Golden runes revolved in the air, forming flying blades that slashed at him. They were extremely powerful spiritual attacks, but the man's horn lit up with countless runes that formed a barrier around him. Her spiritual attacks were easily rebounded. Now Menki was competing with him in terms of spiritual strength. She needed to exhaust his spiritual strength as quickly as possible, but he wasn't afraid of this at all. His spiritual strength was extremely powerful. Meanwhile, Tang Wan'er was surrounded by a sea of wind blades. She went all out attacking, and at the same time, she kept a large mass of wind blades to protect Yu Zifeng. Amongst the four of them, Yu Zifeng posed the greatest threat to this opponent. His sword key could break through any defenses that his opponent summoned. Due to his previous carelessness, Yu Zifeng's sword had broken his defenses and landed on his back. If it hadn't been for his clothes having powerful defenses of their own to protect him, he would have been killed. After that, he had focused on killing Yu Zifeng as his number one priority. Because Yu Zifeng was not a celestial, he couldn't heal, and his defensive strength was low. But Wild was also incredibly powerful, and he had Menki and Tang Wan'er restricting him as well. He was unable to find an opportunity to kill Yu Zifeng. Instead, he had to constantly be on guard against his attacks. The five of them were fighting far away in the air, down below. The Dragonblood Legion's warriors were fighting over 30,000 Heaven Suppressing Magic Sect's disciples under Gu Yang's lead. Suddenly, a huge figure appeared in the sky, and an azure light shot through a rank 6 Celestial's body, instantly killing him. Boss is back. The Dragonblood Legion cheered. They had only just started fighting, but Long Chen had already returned. Double Dragon Destruction. Long Chen jumped off Cloud's back, instantly summoning Huo Long and Lai Long. Watch out roared the person fighting Wild and the others. He tried to charge over to help, but the four of them held him back. Yu Zifeng even used a suicidal move to force him to hastily switch to defense. Wild, Menki, and Tang Wan'er also went all out, forcing him to retreat. He could only watch as the two dragons smashed their way through the heaven-suppressing magic sect's disciples. Defend. The heaven-suppressing magic sect's disciples all had their hair stand on end upon sensing the pressure from the two dragons. They hastily took out shields. Boom. 
the huge dragons mercilessly tore through the ranks of the 30,000 disciples, leaving a bloody path in their wake. Chapter 1152 Ancient Race Expert Translator Born to be whether or not the disciples summoned defenses, whether they were rank 5 celestials or even rank 6 celestials, anyone in the path of the double dragon attack was killed. Both Lai Long and Huo Long had grown to a terrifying level now. When they combined their power, their attack power was practically limitless. The formation the 30,000 heaven suppressing magic sects disciples had formed was cut in two, and a third of their numbers were killed. Slaughter them. Although there's more of them, I'm sure the men of steel from my dragon blood legion can make sure that not one of them leaves, shouted Long Chen. Kill. Kill them all. Before Long Chen arrived, they had been unable to break through their defenses, but they were shattered by one attack from Long Chen, and 10,000 disciples were killed. If they didn't show some of their own ability, they wouldn't have the face to keep calling themselves members of the Dragon Blood Legion. The strongest point of the heaven suppressing magic sects disciples was their combination magical arts. Now the strongest point had been broken by Long Chen, and the Dragon Blood Legion's warriors immediately turned red eyed. Back then, these people hadn't held back on angering them. At that time, they hadn't had a chance to attack. Although Long Chen had defeated Hans Henayu and slapped Ma Zingkong in the face, it still wasn't as satisfying as doing it themselves. Now that the people who had been looking down on them so arrogantly appeared before them again, the Dragonblood Legion's warriors almost went crazy. Fuck. Just keep being a poser. Killing one of the panicking heaven-suppressing magic sect's disciples, one of the Dragonblood warriors shouted with delight. After the competition, Long Chen had told them that when fighting the heaven-suppressing magic sect's disciples, they had to do their best to close the distance between them. Close-range combat was their fatal weakness. As long as you didn't give them time to unleash magical arts, they could be cut down easily. Spirit of one of the heaven-suppressing magic sect's disciples Shantae D, waving his staff. PFFT. Spirit my ass. Let's see how you spirit anything now. One of the dragon mark warriors cut off his head and pointed at his corpse. He's already dead. So what are you quibbling against him for? Hurry up and move on. Another dragon mark warrior pulled him off. The dragon blood legion's warriors were like tigers and wolves charging through the midst of the heaven-suppressing magic sect's disciples. They were in a complete state of panic. The ones who were further away wanted to use magical arts to attack back, but there were still their fellow disciples between them. If they attacked, they would also be attacking their fellow disciples. That moment of indecision was all that the Dragonblood Legion needed to close the distance. Die. One of the heaven-suppressing magic sect's disciples waved his staff unleashing a runic arrow that struck a dragon mark warrior in the back. A muffled bang rang out, and his clothes were torn apart. But the dragon mark warrior was fine. The hole in his clothes revealed golden armor noveloon.com you can die instead. A maiden smashed her wooden staff on the attacker's head. The heaven suppressing magic sect's disciples eyes rolled into the back of his head, and he fainted just like this. He fell to the sea, revealing a woman behind him. This maiden was actually one of the healing disciples. She was in charge of healing people with long-range healing arts, but taking advantage of an extremely rare case, she smacked a rank 5 celestial in the head, knocking him out. The dragon mark warrior hastily switched out his robes. The scale armor he was wearing was their secret weapon. The reason Long Chen dared to let them attack was because they were all wearing the armor Guo Ran had forged. Speaking of this armor, it had to be said that Guo Ran was truly a skilled and meticulous craftsman. For others, Scaled armor had to be worn on the outside like plate armor, but Guo Ran's scale armor had tiny springs between scales, allowing it to contract and be worn as a second skin. Wearing it on the body didn't affect their agility or movements at all. So looking on the outside, others weren't even able to tell they were wearing armor. Guo Ran had long since run some training sessions so people could get used to it. Now that they were fighting for real, they found it to be very natural. As long as they protected their heads, they wouldn't have to worry about being attacked in other places. The material that had gone into this armor was at the king item level. Although the armor wasn't a true king item, its hardness was essentially on the same level. Furthermore, Guo Ran had inscribed special runes on the armor to reduce the impact of blows. Even if they were struck by a heavy weapon, the armor would block a portion of the attack's power, so they wouldn't be killed in one blow. The Dragonblood Legion's warriors were like tigers with wings now completely slaughtering the heaven-suppressing magic sect's disciples who were now fleeing miserably. The ones that directly turned and fled without a care of their fellow disciples were killed by cloud. Boom. Suddenly, 
the horned man's seven stars reflect on the runic sea disappeared. It was absorbed back into his body, and his blood key erupted. His horn began to glow, and a ray of light shot out at Wilde's club. Wilde's hand instantly cracked and began to bleed. He was sent flying, wildly vomiting blood. Menki and the others were shocked. Despite Wilde's power, he was still injured. Just at this moment, the horned man's staff disappeared, replaced with a trident. He swung it out behind him. Boom. He just managed to block Yu Zifeng's silent sword. Yu Zifeng's arms broke, and his sword left his hand as he flew back. Time for you to die. The horned man sneered and swung his trident at Menki and Tang Wanur. Suddenly, a blood-colored saber fell from the sky. The saber hadn't even arrived, but the pressure it exuded caused the horned man's heart to shake. He immediately gave up on attacking the two of them and swung it at Long Chen's saber. Sparks flew. The horned man was startled to find that Long Chen's seemingly brute strength attack had actually been able to force his trident to the side. With the trident to the side, the horned man's head was open. A large foot ruthlessly kicked his face. The horned man was sent flying across the sea, bouncing off the surface several times as he shot into the distance. Wang's Hen and Hua Shiyu have arrived. Go get them and kill everyone here. Don't let a single one escape. I'll handle that one. Long Chen shot away immediately after giving Menki and Tang Wan Er some orders. They saw that a flying boat was rushing over from one direction, while Wang's Hen was flying with a group of people from another direction. Wang's Hen's flying boat had been crippled. So despite leaving first, he ended up arriving at the same time as Hua Shiyu. The Heaven Female Alliance and 10,000 Insect Guild immediately formed an encirclement when they reached the battlefield, completely trapping the Heaven Suppressing Magic Sect's disciples. Wild jumped onto a flying boat and took out a Jade Bull. He began to crazily eat. That fierce fight had exhausted a great deal of his energy. After all, he was the one who had received the majority of the Horned Man's attacks. One of Yu Zifeng's arms was completely gone, and there were two healing disciples helping him recover. Because he was not a celestial, their healing was even more effective on him. A new arm quickly grew out, but the meridians inside would need some time to expand. Seeing that the two of them were fine, Menki and Tang Wanner also joined the battlefield. Menki jumped onto Cloud's back to overlook the entire battlefield. Now that Long Chen had arrived, the conclusion was set. The only thing to do was to reduce any casualties. The Dragonblood Legion had their armor to protect themselves, and there were no casualties amongst them. The main thing was to support the Heaven Female Alliance and the 10,000 Insect Guild. Long Chen summoned his Green Dragon Battle Armor. He had 108,000 scales, the same as his 108,000 Immortal Platforms. The Dragon Blood Energy strengthened his body to a new level, allowing him to use all the power of his 108,000 Immortal Platforms without worrying about his body not being able to handle it. He quickly caught up to the Horned Man, resting Blood Drinker on his shoulder. He icily asked. Does the Heaven Suppressing Magic Sect only have this little ability? Even a rank 7 Celestial would sink so low. Fuck off. The Horned Man's expression sank, but he didn't argue. His trident's runes lit up and he smashed it at Long Chen. Long Chen snorted and randomly swung Blood Drinker. The Horned Man coughed up blood and once more flew back. A rank 7 Celestial is no longer a match for me. Sensing his condition in the Green Dragon Battle Armor state, he was filled with confidence. He once more arrived in front of the horned man and swung his saber. He used neither technique nor ability. It was just an ordinary swing. And yet, the horned man's arm completely deformed and he smashed into the sea like a shooting star. Ancestral blood ignition. Ancestral spirit appear. The horned man suddenly roared. And a huge figure appeared behind him. Because it was so huge, it wasn't possible to see it clearly. It simply looked like an ape with a horn on its head. I'll kill you right now with my strongest move. The horned man coldly glared at Long Chen. Even his voice was becoming dark and sinister. Chapter 1153 Defeated and Fleeing Translator Born to be I'm looking forward to it. Long Chen rested Blood Drinker on his shoulder. His hair constantly billowed as he sensed energy surging out of him. He didn't know if the nine-star hegemon body art was connected to the Green Dragon battle armor. But up until now, he found that using the Green Dragon Battle Armor was able to unleash the full power of the Nine Star Hegemon Body Art. It was only with the support of the Green Dragon Battle Armor that he was able to bear using 100% of his 108,000 Immortal Platform's power. Tightly holding Blood Drinker, he felt like his body was about to burst with energy. As for the Horned Man, he raised his trident. The illusory figure behind him transformed into a rune that merged with his trident. Fool. 
Now you should realize that you're definitely going to die today. The horned man glared at Long Chen. Long Chen narrowed his eyes. He icily said, using the power of your ancestral blood and the essence of your ancestor's soul to activate a king item's power. Correct. Although it can't fully activate the king item, it's enough to kill you. The horn on his head began to shine with a dazzling light, and it gathered onto the trident. Heaven and earth rumbled as his trident rapidly grew. It pierced through the clouds, reaching a monstrous height that made others feel like ants, as if they might be annihilated at any time. But Long Chen just calmly stared without making any movements. Bloodrinker was beginning to shiver, like a lion whose territory was being intruded on. He pointed Bloodrinker to the sky, and a blood red saber image soared into the sky. Cliff breaking heaven propping slash. The horned man's pupils shrank. He hadn't thought that Long Chen would also be able to activate his king item. He hastily attacked, not giving Long Chen any time to store up energy. Split the heavens. 3. Just as Long Chen was preparing to use the fourth form of split the heavens, a bad feeling rose in his heart, and he forcibly switched to the third form. The huge saber image crashed against the trident. The world suddenly descended into endless darkness. That was a result of mass spatial twisting, and when everyone's vision recovered, they saw that the sea had been cut apart. They thought they even saw the ocean floor which was also cracked. Both Long Chen and the horned man flew back. Long Chen vomited a mouthful of blood, his meridians shaking. In that critical moment, he had switched from the fourth form to the third form of split the heavens. He had forcibly gone from connecting 36 acupuncture points to 27, but because the 36 acupuncture points had been connected, he could see that just trying to use the fourth form had caused his acupuncture points to be covered in cracks. Fortunately I switched in time, or my meridians would have been completely destroyed. How is the fourth form of split the heavens so monstrous? Long Chen felt a wave of fear. He had already nourished the runes for the fourth form of split the heavens. Since he could instantly unleash the third form, he should have been able to use the fourth form. But when he tried, a sensation of crisis had filled his heart and he had changed to the third form. And yet, he still received a heavy backlash. He had never tried activating the fourth form. He had been wanting to test it out, but that almost caused a disaster. When Long Chen flew back, he wasn't able to find any sign of the horned man. He had fled somehow. Seeing his enemy had fled, he relaxed slightly. As a result, he coughed up another mouthful of blood. He hastily circulated the primal chaos bead to heal. But Long Chen was shocked to find that the meridians he had cracked from attempting to use the fourth form were recovering very slowly. Is there some kind of secret with the fourth form of split the heavens? Wondered Long Chen. What is it? Long Chen. Men Qi and Tang Wan Er came over. They both saw that his expression was a bit ugly. I'm fine. I'm just irritated that he got away. Long Chen shook his head. Previously, he had been so confident. He had been sure he would be able to fight to the death against that horned man. But he had still escaped. But even if he hadn't run, Long Chen no longer had any assurance of killing him. His damaged meridians made it so he couldn't use his full power. Instead of defeating his enemy, his own energy had injured himself. Long Chen was extremely irritated. Such a stupid thing had actually happened to him. What the hell happened? Just at this time, Su Mo and Mu Kingsuan's group arrived. They had been attracted by the huge disturbance. Seeing countless corpses and everyone covered in blood, cleaning up a battlefield, they jumped in shock. You weren't attacked? Asked Men Qi with surprise. No, everything was normal. What happened here? cried Mu Kingsuan. Now's not the time to talk about it. Gather all the disciples. We're going back to Zhuanshan City, said Long Chen. On the way, they explained what had happened. Mu Kingsuan and Su Mo were shocked. They hadn't expected the heaven-suppressing magic sect to be so crazy as to attack the Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples. But why didn't they attack us? Asked Mu Kingsuan. Perhaps it's to prevent the Zhuanshan Dao sect from going crazy. If all the new disciples are killed. At least they'll have the old disciples to continue their inheritance. But if the old and new disciples are killed, that would leave them with no options. Then the Zhuanshan Dao sect would have a true fight to the death with them. Long Chen could only come up with such a guess. However, while this was the most logical guess he could come up with, he knew the heaven-suppressing magic sect's idiots didn't know what logic was. Despite thinking about it from a hundred different angles, he couldn't figure out just what they were planning. Is there still no news from Gao Xianyang? Asked Long Chen. No. It seems they've turned off their communication runes. We can't even find them. Sumo, Wang Zhen, and the others shook their heads. Boss, you don't think that. 
asked Gu Yang. There's no proof, so it's meaningless to guess. Furthermore, that seems unlikely. Gao Xianiang isn't an idiot, and he knows doing such a thing has no benefit to him. Starting today, we're staying within Zhuangshan City until the Beast Tide, said Long Chen. But then when the Beast Tide occurs, the number of sea demons will reach a terrifying level, said Sumo. All of them had not realized that the Beast Tide this time was going to be extremely terrifying. When they went out hunting, cleaning out the ninth rank sea demons in one area took them a long time. If they didn't take advantage of this time to kill some more, then when the Beast Tide occurred, their numbers would be inestimable. It's fine. I have a plan for that. As for the Heaven Suppressing Magic Sect, they lost so much this time. Tens of thousands of their disciples were killed, and only two escaped. With their idiotic character, it's very likely that they'll return to get revenge. They have more disciples than us, and it's too easy for them to ambush us on the sea. But as long as we hold back our troops, they won't dare to attack Zhuangshan City. Then that would no longer be as simple as conflicting views between two sects. They don't dare, said Long Chen. Why don't we report this to the sect? Probed Mu Kingsuan. There's no need. The Zuan master already told me that anything can happen here, and that we needed to resolve whatever happens ourselves. Furthermore, what do you think they do if we reported it? The elders can't enter this region. Do you want the sect to send outer sect disciples? Isn't that just suicide for them? Long Chen shook his head, but started Mu Kingsuan. Kingsuan, Long Chen is the commander. He has his own plans, so don't keep asking. Don't you feel like you're being a worry ward? Said Sumo Yu. You're saying such a thing to me? Tonight, don't come to my room. Declared Mu Kingsuan. But she quickly realized she had misspoken. She turned red and fled. Everyone else looked oddly at Sumo Long Chen clapped. Who would have thought that senior apprentice brother Sumo would be this efficient? Congratulations. Congratulations. Senior apprentice brother Sumo is mighty. Senior apprentice brother Sumo is domineering. Senior apprentice. Brother Sumo is mighty and domineering. Gu Yang and the others seemed to wish the whole world would be in chaos, and they cheered along. Sumo looked like he wanted to cry. He had just wanted to give some advice and hadn't expected to fall into such a situation. If he had known this would happen, he wouldn't have even opened his mouth. Under everyone's sight, he could only force a smile and leave. But everyone was well aware Sumo was about to have a rough couple of days. After this, they did a check of their losses. The 10,000 Insect Guild had suffered the most, while the Heaven Female Alliance had lost a few hundred people. The Dragonblood Legion had a couple of dozen people injured, but no one had died. That was the result of Guo Ran's armor. Long Chen had Wang Zhen bring in a few people from Su Mo's group. Su Mo's group contained the disciples who had come from the Divine Beast Mansion, Hegemon Hall, and Flame Gate. Su Mo had a few of his experts led them, but it was difficult. As for the Heaven Female Alliance, they only accepted women, so only Wang's Hen could lead them. Long Chen had Wang's Hen taken 10,000 new disciples, causing him to jump. He didn't dare to lead that many people, because the battle had caused his side's power to drop. He felt he was unable to convince so many people to follow him. Whether or not you can lead your people isn't dependent on how strong you are, but whether or not you can treat each of your subordinates as a brother. As for the strength aspect, leave that to me. I will allow your power to grow explosively in a short amount of time. Long Chen patted Wang's hen on the shoulder. Chapter 1154 Increasing Strength Translator Born to be once they were back in Zhuangshan City, Long Chen found that it was as he had expected. The disciples left behind in Zhuangshan City hadn't been attacked, and everything was normal. Guo Ran was busy forging in seclusion, seeing Long Chen and the others return covered in blood, and seeing that many people hadn't returned. They couldn't help being shocked. Long Chen had no intention of hiding this news. When everyone learned that it was done by the Heaven Suppressing Magic Sect, they were all outraged. They wished to immediately go duke it out with them. Last time, the Heaven Suppressing Magic Sect had come to provoke the Zhuangshan Dao Sect, which had already infuriated them. Now, they viewed them as life and death enemies. When they heard that only two of them managed to escape and the rest had been killed, they all felt delighted. Long Chen ordered them not to go out of the city during this time. If they wanted to go hunting, they could only go hunt by the shore. Hunting and patrolling by the shore was a must because they had to keep watch over the sea demons' movements. This was to time when the beast tide would occur. A huge number of sea demons would start gathering right before the beast tide. Long Chen began talking with Wang Zhen. He asked to know a bit more about his situation. Wang Zhen's losses were extremely severe. On the sea, 
he had used many of his insects that didn't even know how to fly as cannon fodder. As for the insects that could fly, less than a hundredth had survived. But there was one amazing aspect of insect cultivators. As long as they had enough resources, they could constantly breed more insects. These insects could breed very quickly as long as they had enough food. His insect army could be quickly restored. All the disciples had dozens of ninth rank sea demon corpses in their spatial rings. Those were the best kind of resources for Wang Zhen. Show me each kind of insect you have and give me an introduction, said Long Chen. Wang Zhen summoned hundreds of different insects. There were all kinds. Some were used for defense. Some were used for offense. Some were used for cleaning up corpses. And some were simply used as feed. Wang Zhen's fighting insects would need to consume a few feed insects every day to grow. As for the feed insects, they needed blood and flesh. The energy within the flesh could be transformed by his feed insects and provided to his other insects. It was similar to raising pigs. Wang Zhen also had a powerful mother insect. According to him, this mother insect was connected to his mind and soul. It was what allowed him to control his insect army. However, the mother insect was only at the early ninth rank. In order to make sure the other insects could be controlled, their power definitely could not surpass the mother insects. That was why Wang Zhen's other insects were at most at the peak of the 8th rank. If they were any stronger, the mother insect wouldn't be able to suppress them, and then they would rebel. Long Chen looked at the huge golden mother insect. It was like a seven-spotted ladybug, but its shell released a metallic luster. Its defensive power was shocking. It was no wonder he had been able to block the magical arts of rank 6 celestials. But it was clear this mother insect only specialized in defense, and didn't have powerful attacks. Long Chen extracted a drop of its essence blood. It was golden and very bright. How strong can your mother insect grow to? Asked Long Chen. The tenth rank. That's strong. Long Chen was surprised. Brother Long, although it can grow to the tenth rank, those that actually do are extremely, extremely rare. It is very difficult to grow, and it is very slow. Furthermore, a few years ago, I was in a life and death battle and my mother insect was heavily injured. It's been recovering these past few years, but my resources are limited, and I can't help it too much. So the mother insect's growth is very, very slow, said Wang Zhen. It seemed insect cultivators were also a money-burning profession. Poor people couldn't even try it. Long Chen said, I have a general understanding of your mother insect. Since its limit is the 10th rank, I'm not worried at all. Worried about what? I will use medicinal pills to allow your mother insect to advance within a few days. I'm thinking of raising it to the late ninth rank, said Long Chen after a moment's thought. But, that's impossible. Wang Zhen couldn't believe his ears. His mother insect had spent three years at the peak of the eighth rank before advancing to the early ninth rank. But Long Chen wanted to raise it to the late ninth rank in just a few days? If anyone else said that, he would think it was just a joke. But coming from Long Chen, he was delighted. Don't get too happy. Raising it to the late ninth rank is no problem but it's just an empty cultivation base. It will have the pressure, but not the true power. My medicinal pills will raise its cultivation base, but its actual power will have to slowly grow and catch up. But just raising its cultivation base is enough to benefit you immensely. You understand. Long Chen smiled. I understand. I understand. As long as my mother insect reaches the late ninth rank, I'll be able to control mid ninth rank insects as generals in my insect army. Heavens. I almost can't believe it. Wang Zhen lost all semblance of calm as he was filled with excitement. Was he joking? An army of thousands of ninth rank insects? Wouldn't he be completely unrevealed? I'm not done. I'll also refine a kind of medicinal elixir for your feed insects. It will allow them to grow faster. And after they absorb the energy of flesh and blood, they will undergo a kind of explosive growth. It's not very good for your feed insects. But your fighting insects can simply devour them and it'll be no problem. They'll all grow faster. I'll refine some for you now, and later I'll give you the formula. Even when I'm not present, you'll be able to make it yourself. Hey, what are you doing? As Long Chen spoke, Wang's hand suddenly knelt on the ground. Long Chen jumped and hastily pulled him up. I will forever remember Brother Long's kindness, swore Wang's hand. Long Chen wasn't just giving him medicinal elixir, he was giving him the formula as well. It had to be known that such secret formulas were extremely precious. There had been many cases of fathers and sons turning hostile, or brothers turning against each other just for a precious formula. As for this kind of formula, it was as precious as his life to Wang's hen. Don't be so serious. Long Chen was speechless. 
Wang Zhen shook his head. This isn't just for me, but also for my brothers. Once I'm stronger, I won't have to just watch as they die in front of me. That feeling really is painful. I don't want to feel it a second time. Good. That's what a man should be like. Now that you understand how brothers will sacrifice everything for each other, anyone who joins you will definitely not suffer. Long Chen patted him on the shoulder. Wang Zhen was extremely moved. Receiving Long Chen's approval felt like a lifetime's worth of glory now. After parting with Wang Zhen, he took a look over all of Zhuanshan City to keep things safe. Men Qi had completely covered Zhuanshan City in her spiritual domain. This spiritual domain was based on four golden little bells that were spread throughout the city. They were a special kind of soul item that allowed her to keep watch over all of Zhuanshan City. The sneak attack this time had given all of them a sense of danger. They were no longer within the Zhuanshan Dao sect, and there were no rules to protect them. They would have to rely on themselves. Long Chen returned to the city lord mansion, calling over Gu Yang. He took out 86 rank 6 heavenly Dao fruits and 1500 rank 5 heavenly Dao fruits. Those were his greatest spoils of battle this time. It went without saying that the heaven-suppressing magic sect was truly more powerful than the Zhuanshan Dao sect amongst their new disciples. Many of them had been raised to the fifth rank. That had to have cost countless resources. Amongst their senior disciples, around a tenth of them were rank six celestials. As for the Zhuanshan Dao sect senior disciples, only one in a thousand were rank six celestials. This proportion revealed the difference in financial strength between the two sects. However, this power difference had ended up benefiting Long Chen. Whether the dead celestial was an innate or acquired celestial, once their heavenly Dao runes were absorbed by the primal chaos beat and condensed into heavenly Dao fruits, the people who consumed them would be an innate celestial. Most monstrous of all, if those fallen disciples had reached the realm of merging with heaven and earth, the heavenly Dao fruit would bestow that ability to whoever consumed it as well. Give 50 of the rank 6 heavenly Dao fruits to the healing disciples. Split the rest amongst the warriors with the greatest potential. As for the rank 5 heavenly Dao fruits, first give them to the dragon blood warriors, and then select the strongest dragon mark warriors, said Long Chen. Right now, the dragon blood legion had over 13,000 members. There were still just four captains, but now there were 360 squad leaders. In other words, each dragon blood warrior was a squad leader. In this way, each squad was composed of over 30 people and it was easier to control things during battle. Squad leaders naturally had to be strong, so the rank 5 heavenly Dao fruits would be first given to them. As for the rank 6 heavenly Dao fruits going to the healing disciples, Gu Yang had hesitated a bit, but then thinking about it, the healing disciples were what protected the lives of the dragon blood legion. They had to be powerful. During the battle in the infernal devil abyss, they had experienced just how important the healing disciples were. Otherwise, there would have been quite a few casualties in that battle. Once Gu Yang left, Long Chen looked at the remaining rank 4 and below heavenly Dao fruits he had. I wonder whether Zhen Wenlong managed to send those heavenly Dao fruits over. Long Chen thought of Yu Ziaokian. He had sent a large number of heavenly Dao fruits so that the original devil race could walk openly on the martial heaven continent to gather resources. Now, he had another mass of heavenly Dao fruits, but he didn't dare to randomly send them with just anyone. If this secret was exposed, he would be dead. The only people who truly knew the secret were Tang Wanur, Men Qi, Gu Yang, Guo Ran, and a few others. The Dragonblood and Dragon Mark warriors only knew that they were fruits. They didn't know the true story. Long Chen didn't want them to know. It wasn't that he didn't trust them, but that the more people who knew, the more dangerous it would be. Then their enemies would set their sights on him, and it might cause him to lose his life. After arranging everything, Long Chen went into seclusion to refine pills. Some were for Wang Zhen, and some were for Hua Shiyu. He needed to take advantage of this time to help Hua Shiyu eliminate that thing. Chapter 1155 The Abnormal Fourth Form of Split the Heavens Translator Born to be Long Chen spent a whole day refining pills for Wang Zhen. The mother insect was very large, and it needed top-grade pills. Moreover, it needed hundreds of them in order to be effective. As for medicinal elixir, it needed even more of that. Fortunately, he had Huo Long to help him refine it, and it all went very smoothly. Otherwise, refining that much would exhaust him to death. When Wang Zhen received the medicinal pills, he directly gave them to his mother insect. He also started using the elixir to raise his feed insects. Long Chen had all disciples prioritize giving their ninth rank C demons corpses to Wang Zhen. 
Everyone was in support of this, having sacrificed so many insects to protect his subordinates, he had won their respect. Furthermore, the most precious aspect of ninth rank sea demons was their core. Their corpses were only worth a tenth, so people didn't care that much. They directly gave the corpses to Wang Zhen for free. Originally, Wang Zhen had been planning on using his cores to exchange with the corpses, but he was refused by all the disciples. Some of them even said Wang Zhen was being unreasonable. Wang Zhen was extremely moved. He took their sea demon's corpses. With them, he would be able to raise his insects as fast as possible. Wang Zhen was shocked to find that his feed insects were growing even faster than he had expected. Originally, his feed insects would take five days to mature, but now, they matured in just a few hours. Furthermore, with the effect of the medicinal elixir, the amount of energy they contained was ten times greater. It was even greater than what Long Chen had predicted. Now that he had enough flesh, Wang Zhen was crazily breeding his insect army. His mother insect had smoothly reached the mid-ninth rank after consuming the first batch of medicinal pills. Furthermore, it was on track to reach the late ninth rank soon. Now Wang Zhen was completely convinced by Long Chen's abilities. Just as Wang Zhen was crazily breeding various insects, Long Chen was still healing his injuries. The backlash of attempting to use the fourth form of split the heavens was still causing him problems. He still didn't know what it was. But it was only after using the primal chaos bead to its full powers for two days that his meridian slowly healed. That shocked Long Chen. The primal chaos space was flourishing with life. Bones and limbs could be regrown in a few breaths. And yet repairing a few meridians had taken two days. Long Chen carefully tested the first form of split the heavens. There was no problem at all. His nine acupuncture points were connected smoothly. The second form was also no problem. The third form was no problem. He slowly attempted the fourth form. His spiritual yuan poured through 28 acupuncture points. 29. 35. The first 35 acupuncture points were connected easily without a problem. But when he tried to connect it to the last acupuncture point, his 108,000 immortal platforms actually began to pour their energy in the 36th acupuncture point automatically. It was like 108,000 streams were crazily pouring into one dike. The dike would instantly overflow and break. Although Long Chen had been prepared and instantly dispersed his energy, he was still covered in cold sweat. If he hadn't instinctively sensed the danger and given up on using the fourth form when fighting that expert from the heaven-suppressing magic sect, he probably wouldn't even have a corpse left. What is going on? Why didn't Senior Feng Zingli mention it? Or could it be? Could it be because of the nine-star hegemon body art? Long Chen was befuddled. When he tried to connect the last acupuncture point, his 108,000 immortal platforms would concentrate all their energy there. Furthermore, it was a kind of instantaneous burst of energy that was out of his control. That wasn't something he could bear. This terrifying attack isn't something I can use. Long Chen was deeply shaken. Perhaps Split the Heavens had already diverted from its original scope because of the nine-star hegemon body art. That was because the heaven-splitting battle sect's disciples who cultivated Split the Heavens all trained in a special cultivation technique. The Battle God Sacred Canon. This cultivation technique was a set with Split the Heavens. The two complemented each other. But Long Chen hadn't trained in the Battle God Sacred Canon. And he used Split the Heavens through the Nine Star Hegemon Body Art instead. Thus, it was natural that there was a large difference to it. I can't continue like this. Having a powerful battle skill but not being able to use it is too much of a waste. Long Chen sank into thought and slowly circulated the energy of his four key C's. He extracted energy from a few of his immortal platforms and merged it with his four key C's. He once more tried to use Split the Heavens and was pleasantly surprised to see that this truly seemed to be a solution. By splitting the work, his key C's ended up controlling his immortal platforms. He continued pouring energy into his key C's, while his remaining immortal platforms sent energy to use Split the Heavens. When he reached the 36th acupuncture point, Long Chen once more scattered his energy. He found that even the energy of half his immortal platforms was not what his acupuncture point could bear. After several tests, he finally found a limit that he could endure. If he wanted to use the fourth form of split the heavens, he could only use a fourth of his immortal platforms. Through all this testing, he found the fourth form of split the heavens to be truly vicious. If it was activated, it would instantly extract all the energy within a quarter of his immortal platforms. He thought about testing the power of it. But when he considered how he would have to exhaust a quarter of his energy, he decided not to. In any case, there would come an opportunity sooner or later. 
and he wasn't in a rush. He had already figured out how to use it. For the rest of the day, he continued refining pills. The next morning, he went to find Hua Shiyu, in a private room containing just the two of them. The atmosphere was a bit awkward. I've refined a few special pills for you, and they will protect your soul. But you should be prepared. That thing has been in your body for too long, and extracting it will be very painful, warned Long Chen gravely. Hua Shiyu was a bit nervous. She nodded as she still remembered the pain from last time. That feeling of having one soul torn apart was the most painful experience she had ever had. Hua Shiyu consumed the top-grade medicinal pills Long Chen had refined for her. The medicinal energy quickly spread, causing Hua Shiyu to glow with a sacred light. That light made her clothes almost see-through, revealing all her crucial parts. Hua Shiyu turned completely red and looked away, incapable of facing Long Chen. Long Chen gulped, looking at a peerless beauty who seemed to not be wearing any clothes. He found his mouth dry. Taking a deep breath, he expelled all his beautiful thoughts and warned himself that he had proper things to attend to. Circulating the nine-star hegemon body art, a faint light came from his palm as he reached for Hua Shiyu's chest. The black key was located right below her solar plexus. That was a very awkward spot. Long Chen's hand stopped for a long time in front of her chest as he didn't dare to press down. Although Hua Shiyu had her eyes closed, her breathing was clearly quickening and her face was completely red. It was an unreplicable beauty. Damn it, Long Chen, you're a doctor now. Dr. Long Chen, the more you hesitate, the more it seems you're feeling guilty. Long Chen clenched his teeth and pressed. That soft feeling made his heart waver. Ah, Hua Shiyu shook. A soft cry came out from her covered mouth, and it made Long Chen's blood immediately surge. Unable to focus. The circulation of the nine-star hegemon body art came to a halt, and the light on his palm also faded. Hua Shiyu opened her eyes, her face even redder than before. Sorry, I shouldn't have made such a noise. That cry had been involuntary, but she still felt extremely embarrassed. Long Chen also couldn't help being embarrassed. How was he supposed to endure such a sound of rapture? Are you nervous? Long Chen? You're sweating. Hua Shiyu tried to alleviate the awkward atmosphere. Right now. Long Chen was covered in sweat, while normally he was unafraid of anything. He even dared to slap the heaven-suppressing magic sect's vice sect master, but he was still so tense now. A bit. I just don't have experience. Long Chen bitterly smiled. But after saying that, he regretted it. What about last time? Teased Hua Shiyu. Last time was too fast and it ended before it started. Long Chen relaxed a bit upon seeing that Hua Shiyu dared to tease him. He had to treat this as just a small matter. Aren't you afraid of Tang Wan or beating you if you put it like this? Laughed Hua Shiyu. HMPH. Do you think I'm afraid of her? Long Chen sniffed. Just ask her. When does she ever not beat me? The awkward atmosphere slowly lessened. The two of them were no longer so nervous. If you're nervous, you can touch. Just until you're not nervous. Before helping me. Hua Shiyu once more turned red. Heavens. There was such a good thing? But how could he be so shameless as to really do that? I want to, but if Wan Er learns of it, I might not live past 21, said Long Chen helplessly. I promise, to keep it secret. Hua Shiyu's voice was less than a whisper, yet it was solemn. She didn't realize Long Chen was just joking. Long Chen felt like continuing like this was just making their relationship more and more dubious. Taking a deep breath, he said, Shiyu, we should hurry up a bit. Once the medicinal effect fades, we won't be able to expel it. Are you ready? Yes. Let's start. Hua Shiyu closed her eyes and puffed out her chest slightly. Long Chen didn't dare to look at her. Closing his eyes and expelling all distracting thoughts, the light on his palm reappeared as he slowly pressed it against Hua Shiyu's chest. Buzz. Black Key once more began to stream out of her chest. It was like countless black centipedes wriggling around his palm. Hua Shiyu's expression twisted slightly in pain, but with the effect of the medicinal elixir, it was much better than last time. She didn't make a sound. Endure it. I'm going to pull it out. Long Chen urged on the nine-star hegemon body art, causing the light coming from his palm to grow stronger. More and more black key appeared, and in the end, Long Chen pulled out a three-meter black figure from her chest. Who dares to break my magic? Suddenly, an elderly face that was both cold and stern appeared within the black key. Chapter 1156 Removing the Sorcery Translator Born to be Long Chen pulled back his hand, drawing out a black figure. That black figure was like an octopus, but with countless tentacles that were like sinister centipedes. Half of it had been pulled out by Long Chen, 
but now the black figure was struggling fiercely, refusing to be pulled out of Hua Shiyu's body. At this moment, an elder appeared within the black key, staring at Long Chen with triangular eyes. It's him. He. He's the one. Who came to my family PFFT. Hua Shiyu immediately cried out upon seeing that figure, but she then coughed up a mouthful of blood. Brat, don't meddle in other people's affairs. Some people can't be provoked by you. If you're smart, you'll immediately stop, barked the elder. You know, I haven't read many books, and I'm not very smart. What are you saying exactly? Long Chen acted stupid, while he silently sent thunder force through the ground. Dumb brat, if you offend me, you, your family, and even your sect will be completely annihilated, roared the elder. Try to brag a bit more. Maybe something about destroying the stars and the very universe? I've heard such poser words many times. But if you brag a bit more, I might believe you, said Long Chen. You, just at this moment, the rest of the black key was fully extracted, and it was now powerless to resist. Bastard, just you wait. I'll find you, if you think you can save this girl. Keep dreaming. The elder furiously formed a seal with one hand. A large hand suddenly shot out of the black key at Hua Shiyu's chest. Idiot. Long Chen sneered. A lighting dragon suddenly appeared in front of Hua Shiyu's chest, devouring the black hand. The elder in the black key coughed up three large mouthfuls of blood. Having that black hand devoured by Lai Long had clearly injured him. Oh my. You still get your period? And even at such an age. And so much. Old man. Your health's not bad. Praised Long Chen. You PFFT. The elder once more coughed up a mouthful of blood. His image in the black key began to grow unsteady, and then it faded into nothing. But just as that image faded, the elder's furious row rang out. Brat, just wait. I'll definitely find who you are and kill your family, your sect. Within the Grand Han ancient nation, an elder's furious row rang out from a tall tower that pierced the clouds. Bastard, let me see just where that girl is. The elder extended his hands pressing his thumbs against his four fingers consecutively. His expression suddenly changed. How is this possible? Her fate is blocked from me? HMPH. It's definitely just because I was injured. Then let's see who that idiot brat was. Bang. Just as the elder formed a hand seal, without any warning at all, half his body instantly exploded. I'm impossible. A look of terror appeared on his face as he crazily roared. Countless white-robed experts flew to the top of the tower. Seeing that half the elder's body had exploded, they were all horrified. Pavilion master, hurry up and bring me to the healers. The elder's expression sank. In the end, he glared coldly in a certain direction. That was the direction where Long Chen was. The black key exploded. Long Chen used his thunder force to completely annihilate it. As for Hua Shiyu, she had already fainted. Her face was pale, and she had coughed up blood all over herself. Long Chen gently carried her to a bed. Examining her body, he saw that she had lost a great deal of her spirit blood, and her dantian had been deeply shaken. Fortunately, her soul hadn't been impacted. Other injuries could be resolved with medicinal pills, but injuries to the soul were troublesome. Those required a long time of slow nourishment. After giving Hua Shiyu a few more medicinal pills, Long Chen left, calling over Xiao Ziyan to look after Hua Shiyu. Hua Shiyu woke the next day, when Men Qi, Tang Wan -er, and Long Chen came to see her, they saw that while she was still pale, there was a kind of indescribable Dao charm flowing within her eyes. Congratulations on awakening as a rank 6 celestial. Tang Wan -er was shocked but happy for her, for someone who had 6 innate heavenly Dao runes. Going from the 5th rank to the 6th rank was not called advancing, but awakening. It's all thanks to Long Chen. However, it seems I've brought you more trouble. Hua Shiyu's voice was apologetic. I'm a specialist in causing trouble. I like trouble, and trouble likes me. I got used to it a long time ago. Long Chen shrugged. He had so much trouble that he didn't mind adding in some heavenly fate pavilion. No matter how amazing they were, he wouldn't just watch as one of his friends died without helping. So he was indifferent. This is great news. The strength of the Zhuanshan Dao sect has once more risen a level with your awakening as a rank 6 celestial. Menki smiled. It's not just one level. Yesterday. I saw Wang Shen summon many ninth rank insects. He was drilling them, said Xiao Ziyan. For everyone to improve was a good thing. Wang Shen's mother insect had already reached the late ninth rank. Although its actual combat power hadn't increased, that wasn't what Wang Shen needed. All he needed was its ability to suppress and let other insects. With the mother insect's higher cultivation base, the other insects wouldn't rebel. These days, 
he was raising a few insect kings. These insect kings would be the generals of his other insects. Their cultivation bases were at the mid-ninth rank, and they would control an army of early ninth rank insects to fight. The role of the insect kings was very important, and so he had to pick out the best. He had them fight and kill each other until only the strongest survived. Only then would they have the ability to let other insects. Wang's hen's power was crazily rising, while Hua Shiyu had awakened as a rank 6 celestial. With her innate talent and combat power, as long as she didn't encounter a rank 7 celestial, she could probably dominate the foundation forging realm. What about Cloud? Why don't I see it? Asked Long Chen. Wild and Cloud are out hunting. Cloud has been spoiled by you, and now it only eats the food it hunts itself. As for Wild, he eats like crazy. The two of them eat practically day and night. With the rations dropping day by day, the two of them went out. Menki was a bit helpless about this. That's fine. With Wild's power and Cloud's speed, they can easily flee if they encounter enemies they can't beat. Long Chen wasn't the slightest bit worried about the two of them. When it came to pure power, Wild wasn't weaker than him. Furthermore, Wild seemed to be in a very important state. He needed this food. What about Gao Xianyang? Is there any news from his side? Asked Long Chen. No. It's like they've disappeared. You don't think something bad happened to them, do you? Guessed Xiao Ziyan. Impossible. Right. Long Chen shook his head. How are you so sure? Men Qi and the others were surprised. Because they're all bad people. And bad people don't die so easily. Long Chen shrugged. The others rolled their eyes. This kind of logic was absurd. But it was just a joke. So they didn't take it seriously. Oh. Just as they were talking. Long Chen frowned. What is it? Men Qi. Have you not sensed something odd? For example. Some outsiders invading. Asked Long Chen. Oh? My four spiritual bells are completely fine. All the spiritual fluctuations around here are also normal. What is it? Said Menki with some surprise. Is that so? Then that means some old friends have arrived. Ah, it's been such a long time. I really missed them. Long Chen smiled profoundly. He left the city lord mansion and appeared in the air. It was the afternoon now, and the sunlight was sprinkling over him. It was warm and comfortable, and there was even a gentle sea breeze. If it weren't for the strong scent of blood, it would be a very beautiful day. The occasional disciple saw him and bowed, receiving a nod and a smile from Long Chen. Just as Long Chen was smiling and greeting people, a sword suddenly appeared in the air behind him, stabbing straight at his back. The sword appeared merely a few feet from his back. It simply appeared there with no foundation, reaching his back in an instant. Who's there? shouted Long Chen. He instantly shot into the air, just barely dodging the sword. Only once he was in the air did he see a stiff-faced man appear out of thin air. The attack had come from him. Right as he saw him, dozens of other figures appeared in the air and sharp blades stabbed toward Long Chen. It was like they had planned everything perfectly. They all attacked at the same time, sealing all his possible retreat paths. Furthermore, those sharp blades were completely silent. All their power was concentrated, and once it stabbed through him, it would erupt. These were terrifying assassins with attacks that had been concentrated to the pinnacle. Raging flames devour the heavens. Long Chen formed a hand seal and flame runes appeared, forming a barrier around him. Boom. When those attacks met the flames, a heaven-shaking explosion rang out and flames enveloped the sky. The flames continued to spread, devouring the assassins. But when the flames were about to touch them, their figures twisted strangely and they disappeared. The flames roared through the sky, causing the air to twist. All the disciples below were shocked and jumped into a battle state. While the flames were still raging through the sky and everyone still couldn't see things clearly, a sword silently cut through the flame barrier and slashed toward Long Chen. Chapter 1157 Blood Kill Number 19 Translator Born to be this sword was silent as it appeared, but once it pierced Long Chen's flame barrier, it exploded with light. It was like the sun, and killing intent shook the sky. The sword's power was instantly raised to a peak. That berserk power caused Zhuangshan city to shake. Most terrifying of all was how sudden this sword was coming and its timing. It was at the exact time when Long Chen was using his own move. It was perfectly timed for when his defenses were at their lowest point. Friends from the Blood Kill Hall, I've waited a long time for you. Following Long Chen's laughter, a blood red saber slashed down from the sky. At the same time as the sword slashed through his flame barrier, Blood Drinker slashed down. Boom. The flames exploded and faded from the air. A figure smashed into the ground like a shooting star, crashing through the city walls and out of Zhuangshan city. After succeeding with this attack, Long Chen shot after him, 
once more slashing with his saber. That person snorted and his body twisted. He transformed into eight figures that attacked Long Chen at the same time. Sword Qi tore through the air. Long Chen was shocked. These eight bodies were all real bodies. If he only attacked one, he would definitely be struck by the other seven. He had no choice but to change moves. He swept out Blood Drinker, blocking the eight attacks. But due to being forced to change moves, his power was weakened. He shot back, each step causing a large hole to appear in the ground. Noveloon.com truly worthy of being Long Chen. You haven't disappointed me. This person emotionlessly looked at Long Chen. His build was medium and his face was average. There didn't seem to be any special characteristic about his body. He looked the same as everyone else. And if he was thrown into a crowd, it'd be impossible to pick him out. But while fighting, his powerful aura had revealed itself. He was a powerful rank 7 celestial. And his cultivation base had reached the late foundation forging realm. You also haven't disappointed me. The blood kill hall finally sent a decent assassin. What rank are you? Dark gold or violet gold? Long Chen indifferently looked at this man with his saber resting on his shoulder. The man from the blood kill hall extended his arm, revealing a tattoo on the back of his hand. It was blood colored and had 19 written on it in immortal characters. The bronze, silver, gold, dark gold, and violet gold rankings you're talking about are merely for weaker disciples. I am a core disciple the blood kill hall has used its full strength to raise. I have no name. I have only a number. You can call me blood kill 19. Long Chen was shocked. Was this true or false? A rank 7 celestial was merely ranked 19th? Was the blood kill hall truly so terrifying? You don't need to guess. Yes. Amongst the core disciples of the blood kill hall, I rank 19th. And there are still 19 more terrifying existences above me. The Blood Kill Hall's assassin seemed to see through Long Chen's thoughts. Do you think I don't know how to count? You're 19th, but there are still 19 people in front of you. Long Chen shook his head. There are truly 19. Blood Kill 1 is called the King Amongst Assassins, but there is another existence who has been called the God Amongst Assassins. Since they're a god, they aren't within the number system, answered the assassin. Why are you telling me this? To make me afraid, or to make me regret, asked Long Chen coldly to repent. Why would you repent to me? I want you to repent. The assassin finally lost his calm, killing intent surging out of him. Are you stupid? Why would I have to repent? Long Chen disdainfully looked at him. Was this a mental disorder? Boom. The assassin's aura suddenly erupted, and the seven stars reflect on the runic sea manifestation appeared. You blasphemed the statue of the killing god in the eastern wasteland. You have to repent. Repent in endless terror. The assassin no longer seemed cool-headed. Instead, he was berserk, as if Long Chen's words were completely intolerable to him. Long Chen looked at him, contempt appearing in his eyes. Your god isn't my god, so why do I have to respect it? All I know is that those who want to kill me have to understand what it feels like to be killed. I don't care whether they're a person or a god. Shameless blasphemer, face your death. The assassin suddenly disappeared. When he reappeared, he was already behind Long Chen his sword stabbing forward. Long Chen summoned his divine ring and swung Blood Drinker out to block. The collision caused both of them to shoot back. Long Chen narrowed his eyes. This assassin had powerful combat skills. Was this supposed to mean that assassins who had reached this level no longer cared about the way of the assassin? No, that's wrong. Long Chen's expression suddenly changed, and he shot to the side. But a sword still left a long cut on his back, causing him to feel a fiery pain. His flesh began to emit smoke. That sword was clearly poisoned. So your anger was just an act to make me careless. Not bad. You almost succeeded. Long Chen said calmly as he sensed the pain on his back. This assassin was skilled in scheming. All those words he had said and his expression of anger had been faked. When he had summoned eight split bodies and then looked like he had gathered them all back. He had actually hidden one secretly. Just as he erupted in fury. He disappeared using a secret art to hide himself. Normally, such a move wasn't that useful, but just as he hid his true body, his split body launched an attack, drawing his attention, and then the true body would suddenly launch a sneak attack. He had almost succeeded with this, despite him being his enemy, Long Chen couldn't help but admire his tactics. At the same time, Long Chen was shocked by his enemy's ability to summon eight split bodies that had the same power as his main body. Die. Two figures shot at Long Chen their speed almost impossible to track with the naked eye. Don't use the same move against me twice. It's insulting. Long Chen smiled coldly and slashed his saber in front of him. 
blocking the two attacks. At this time, another sword appeared behind him, stabbing toward his back. That sword had only just appeared when a lightning and a flame dragon surged out, blowing the sword and its owner to smithereens. Split the heavens three, Long Chen suddenly flew into the air, and a huge saber image viciously slashed down. Boom. Just as the assassin was shocked by the death of one of his split bodies, Long Chen launched such a vicious attack. His two bodies went all out to defend, but they were still sent flying. Raging flames devour the heavens. Flames filled the world, covering all the land and the sky. Several hidden figures had no choice but to reveal themselves. As this time, Long Chen's attack was at full strength. He was no longer simply trying to block their vision. In front of Long Chen's full strength attack, the assassin's split bodies were no longer able to hide. Seven figures materialized in different places, revealing just how crafty the assassin was. Even during this intense battle, he had secretly summoned split bodies in preparation for killing Long Chen. Suddenly, the flames vanished, revealing Long Chen holding a three-foot-wide globe of light. He coldly stared at the assassin. Starfall. The globe smashed toward the ground like a shooting star. When it reached the assassin, it exploded. The assassin's expression changed. He didn't even have a chance to pull back his split bodies. He had to go all out blocking this terrifying attack. A wave of flames spread in every direction, even reaching Zhuanshan city. Fortunately, Li Qi and Song Mingyuan had long since made their preparations. They defended the city lord mansion with their earth energy, but the other places were instantly destroyed. Blood should I'll kill sword. As the flames filled the air, the assassin once more appeared. Now he was covered in blood, looking almost insane as he slashed his sword at Long Chen. Split the heavens three. Long Chen had only just attacked when he suddenly realized something was off. The instant his saber touched the assassin's sword, the assassin exploded. Another split body. Long Chen spread a pair of lightning wings and flew into the air. His spiritual strength spread, but he wasn't able to find him. Fuck. He really fled fast. Closing his eyes and using the nine-star hegemon body art senses, he could vaguely tell in which direction he had run. He couldn't help but curse. If only Cloud was present, he would have never gotten away. The assassin had come like lightning, and run like lightning. He wasn't the slightest bit sloppy. He had even sacrificed another split body in order to give himself a chance to get away. Long Chen, how'd it go? Men Qi and the others rushed over. Long Chen had warned them not to participate in his fight because the Blood Kill Hall's assassins were too dangerous. He got away, said Long Chen helplessly. What about your side? We got them all, said Tang Wan'er. Long Chen had known the attacker's identity from the start. The only ones who could slip past Men Qi's spiritual net but be sensed by the nine-star hegemon body art were the assassins of the Blood Kill Hall. Furthermore, he had even sensed a slight familiarity. So he had been sure. And so everything had been arranged. Good. So I'm the only one who lost face and didn't accomplish their mission. Beauties, please hold me and comfort little brother's spirit, cried Long Chen helplessly. What he got in return was scolding laughter from Men Qi and the others about how he was never proper, but it was Hua Shiyu who blushed slightly. Chapter 1158 Come at me if you can. Fuck off if you can't. Translator, born to be after being sneak attacked by the Blood Kill Hall, Long Chen grew even more careful. Although Long Chen wasn't afraid of their assassinations, he was afraid of them switching targets. These shameless people were capable of doing anything. They kept saying they were the followers of the killing god and cultivated the Deo of assassination. But despite supposedly researching assassination arts, they put poison on their weapons. That was what he was disgusted by. Just because they had a god's inheritance, they did anything to achieve their goals. How was that a Deo? Long Chen looked down the most on those people who said they had a belief yet had no bottom line at all. The time he had been most disgusted with them was when he had been with the Mo family in Qin Prefecture. He had been attacked by the Blood Kill Hall on the streets. And in the end, they had even used a little girl only three or four years old to attack him. When that poison needle stabbed into his heart, his disgust toward the Blood Kill Hall also sank into his heart. Seeing that innocent and naive little girl had caused him to think of his own little sister. And in the end, he hadn't killed her. Instead, he had given her a path to live. He had made his resolve at that time. There was nothing to say to the Blood Kill Hall, as there was no use in it. The enmity between them could no longer be resolved. Furthermore, he had never thought of ever resolving them. However many of them came was how many he would kill. These immoral assassins were really just a bunch of rotten murderers. They were the most terrifying foes because they would use any means necessary. 
so Long Chen was very careful these days, constantly circulating the nine star hegemon body art. The Blood Kill Hall's assassins could slip through Menki's spiritual strength, but they couldn't escape his spiritual perception. It was unknown whether they were now afraid or whether they were accumulating forces in secret, but no further attacks came. There was also no news from the heaven suppressing magic sect, nor did Gao Xianyang and the others ever return. The days passed in a somewhat heavy atmosphere. A month passed. What comforted Long Chen was that the Dragonblood Legion's power was rapidly rising each day, but he felt a bit helpless because the Yuan Spirit Stones were starting to run out. Rank 5 and Rank 6 Celestials needed more Yuan Spirit Stones to advance. Thus, the required number of Yuan Spirit Stones for the Dragonblood Legion had multiplied. There hadn't even been enough before. So now, they were starting to reach the bottom. However, all the Dragonblood Legion's warriors had reached at least the 6th Heaven stage, and half had reached the 7th Heaven stage. That speed was extremely shocking. It had to be known that currently, most of the Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples were still at the 3rd Heaven stage. There were a few at the 4th Heaven stage, and only heavenly geniuses on the level of Hua Xiaoyu, Wang Zhen, and Zhao Ziyan had the qualifications to have reached the 5th Heaven stage already. It could be said that Long Chen's 1 billion Yuan spirit stones had allowed him to raise a terrifying legion. On the other side, there was Hua Xiaoyu who had awakened as a rank 6 celestial. Furthermore, after being relieved of that curse, she seemed to be glowing. She even said she felt like she might advance to the 7th rank. That shocked everyone. But when Long Chen thought about it, he suddenly recalled another situation. That old ghost from the Heavenly Fate Pavilion had perhaps placed the curse on Hua Xiaoyu not just for her family's ancestral treasure. It might be the same kind of situation as Chu Yao had been in. That curse was like a seal over Hua Xiaoyu's energy, limiting her growth. Now that it had been released, her power was soaring every day without any sign of slowing down. Long Chen couldn't help but joke that he might have to hug her leg for protection in the future. But as soon as he said that, he sensed Men Qi and Tang Wan'er's gazes turn odd. Hua Xiaoyu didn't retort, simply turning red. Even Zhao Ziyan looked at him oddly. At that time, he had wished to find a hole to bury himself in. It had just been a joke, but it was a huge mistake. Hua Xiaoyu's growth shocked everyone, but there was another person who was not any weaker than her. That was Wang Zhen. Others might not realize just how strong he was getting, but Long Chen had personally seen Wang Zhen's current insect army. Wang Zhen didn't hide anything from him and he directly said that he now had 3,000 offensive insects and 5,000 defensive insects, all of which were at the ninth rank. Furthermore, he had more insects growing every day. Wang Zhen was in high spirits, no longer stuck at his old level. 8,000 ninth rank insects. Just thinking about it made Long Chen's scalp turn numb. Wang Zhen was also soaring. On this day, Long Chen was thinking about how he was supposed to make more money when he heard a ruckus from outside. Then rumbling sounds rang out. Someone had actually started fighting. Long Chen went out and saw that it was Gao Xianyang, who had vanished for almost two months. For some reason, Gao Xianyang was now fighting Gu Yang in the distant sky. The warriors of the Dragonblood Legion were around them, cheering for Gu Yang. What happened? Long Chen asked Song Mingguan. This idiot Gao Xianyang just returned, and he said the beast tide is about to start. So he wants to discuss how they should arrange our defenses. This idiot. What has he done during this time? The defenses were long since completed by me and Li Qi, but now he wants to come and take advantage. How could we let him do as he pleases? During this time, Song Mingguan and Li Qi had acted in accordance with Long Chen's instructions. Each day, they had used their earth energy to raise huge defensive walls 30,000 meters high and tens of millions of miles long. The two of them had worked themselves into panting dogs. Their defensive line had been turned into a funnel. Once the beast tide occurred, all the sea demons would be forced into it, allowing them to reduce their defensive line and making it easier. Now, Gao Xianyang, who had been gone for two months, returned to discuss the defenses. This was purely so he could split the merits of defending the beast tide once it happened. He wanted to take half the profits. That was absolutely shameless. Gu Yang had a temper, and he directly told Gao Xianyang that they were fine without him. He could go back to wherever he had come from. Then Gao Xianyang had pointed at Gu Yang's face and demanded who he thought he was. It was unknown whether or not Gu Yang had been infected by Long Chen, but Gu Yang immediately slapped him in the face. Then the two of them had flown into the air and started fighting. Hu Gishan, Fan Song, and the other disciples following Gao Xianyang were all shocked. 
Gu Yang was in the same generation as them, but now, he was able to fight equally with the top heavenly genius of the senior generation. They were unable to believe it. Most terrifying of all, when had Gu Yang become a rank 6 celestial? Hadn't he only been a rank 4 celestial when he first joined the sect? Were the rumors really true? The Zuan master was researching a secret formula to allow people to rapidly advance celestial ranks? When the Dragonblood Legion's warriors had all advanced to the fourth rank, they had shaken the entire Zuanshan Dao sect at that time. The Zuan master had announced that it was his own experiment, but the Zuan master was vague about the details, and others didn't dare to ask. As a result, there were countless guesses amongst the Zuanshan Dao sect's disciples. One of them was that the Zuan master had come up with a new secret formula that could allow celestials to rapidly advance ranks. But the possible consequences and sequelae of this method were unknown, and so he didn't distribute it widely. Now seeing Gu Yang had become a rank 6 celestial, all of Gao Xian Yang's people were shocked and filled with envy. They felt the Zuan master was biased. Even if they had to be guinea pigs, they were willing, but he didn't even give them that chance. This battle lasted a full two hours without either side winning. Gao Xian Yang's cultivation base was higher, but Gu Yang still beat him in power. When Gao Xian Yang used his full power but was still unable to defaturing Gu Yang, he finally pulled back with a dark expression. Seeing Gao Xian Yang stop, the Dragonblood Legion's disciples erupted into cheers. In fact, all the disciples on Long Chen's side cheered excitedly. All these disciples worshipped and revered the Dragonblood Legion, because they fought alongside them as brothers in battle. Seeing Gu Yang was able to match Gao Xian Yang, they felt their blood boiling. Long Chen. What do you think you're doing? Is this how you treat your fellow sect disciples? Don't forget, we're both leading a group to defend against the beast tide this time. You aren't some local king. Gao Xian Yang's face was green as he pointed his spear at Long Chen. Today, he had lost all his face. Correct. We are both leading our own group. When we arrived here, you immediately brought your group away and didn't try contacting us. As for me, I took over the city, becoming the new city lord. You will lead your group and I will defend the city. There's no need for us to interfere with each other. Weren't things going quite well before this? To avoid any conflicts, we should continue like that. You can lead your group away without any communication, and I will continue defending my city, said Long Chen indifferently. What bullshit. The sea is now completely calm, and the sea demons refuse to appear at all now. That means the beast tide is about to erupt. What am I supposed to do? Raged Gao Xian Yang. What does that have to do with me? You're the one who led your people away with the only working flying boat. Did you once think of us? Now that we're prepared, you return to disturb us? Let me warn you. My temper's not good, so try not to provoke me. If you think you can stay, then stay. If you can't stay, then scram. As for whatever comes from the beast tide, since we're from the same sect, I'll give you some advice, declared Long Chen. What advice? Come at me if you can. Fuck off if you can't. Long Chen waved his hand and returned to the city lord mansion without looking back at Gao Xian Yang. The other disciples on his side also dispersed, leaving only Gao Xian Yang's group foolishly standing there, staring. Clearly, Long Chen would not welcome them here. Gao Xian Yang had gone too far before and offended all of them. Thus, none of them wanted to fight alongside him. Didn't he think himself to be a badass? Now he could continue acting badass. We really went a bit too far this time. Why don't we apologize to Long Chen? Considering his straightforward and candid character, said Fan Song. Gao Xian Yang slapped him across the face, sending him flying. Fan Song coughed up blood. Gao Xian Yang roared. Who does Long Chen think he is? Why should I have to apologize to him? Looking at Long Chen's parting figure, Gao Xian Yang was filled with rancor. Just looking at his current state made others shiver. As for Fan Song, he was filled with fury as others helped him up, but in the end, he didn't dare to say anything. Chapter 1159 The Beast Tide Erupts Translator Born to be having only tied with Gu Yang, Gao Xian Yang's prestige dropped to an all-time low. As for the Dragonblood Legion, its position in the hearts of the Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples rose to an all-time high. This battle had allowed them to show that the Dragonblood Legion didn't just have an unrevealed leader, but it also had a group of terrifying monsters. No member of the Dragonblood Legion was ordinary. Another few days passed calmly. Gao Xian Yang's group didn't leave. They simply set up camp outside Zhuangshan City, maintaining a certain distance from everyone else. 
Long Chen didn't bother with Gao Xianyang. He didn't ask what they were doing and simply gave them the cold shoulder. In the end, Gao Xianyang couldn't bear it any longer and decided to lower his head. He sent Fan Song to report what they had done during this time. Long Chen, this is the route we took during the past few days in the Martial Heaven Sea Ring. I heard you were attacked by the Heaven Suppressing Magic Sect's disciples, but I am willing to use my head to guarantee that this matter has nothing to do with us. Fan Song looked at Long Chen with a complicated expression. Back when Long Chen had joined the Zhuangshan Dao sect, they hadn't placed him in their eyes. They had employed various means to suppress his growth, but now the two of them were not even close to the same level. Long Chen was at a height he could only look up to. I know, the heaven suppressing magic sect placed markers on the flying boats hundreds of years ago. I don't suspect you, said Long Chen. He had once suspected them, but he kept feeling like that wasn't likely. If Gao Xianyang did this, then he couldn't comprehend his motives. This didn't have the slightest benefit to Gao Xianyang. The heaven suppressing magic sect cultivated magical arts. They wouldn't accept him as a disciple. Doing this would just be destroying his own path. Even if Gao Xianyang were to betray the Zhuangshan Dao sect, two conditions needed to be met. First, there had to be enough enticement. And second, he had to be guaranteed that he would be protected from the sect's wrath. The heaven suppressing magic sect was unable to offer him these two things. If he betrayed the Zhuangshan Dao sect, then no matter how many benefits he got from it, he would be chased down by the Zhuangshan Dao sect no matter how great the benefits, he wouldn't have a life to enjoy them. So Long Chen had refused to believe that Gao Xianyang had sold them out. Later, Guo Ran had investigated the flying boats, and in an extremely hidden part of its core, he had found a certain addition. That addition had allowed the heaven suppressing magic sect to tell how many people were on that particular flying boat and its position. That was what had resulted in their accurate sneak attack. Sumo and Mu Kingsuin had been leading the largest group, and they weren't the heaven suppressing magic sect's ultimate goal, so they had instead chosen to attack the 10,000 insect guild, heaven female alliance, and dragon blood legion. Afterward, Long Chen couldn't help sighing emotionally. A thousand calculations could still end up off. The slightest hole resulted in heaven suppressing magic sect's plans going out of control. Thereafter, Long Chen had investigated all of Zhuangshan city. Anything that wasn't necessary had been tossed out into the sea by cloud, and only then did he feel more at ease. Gao Xianyang sent me to say that the beast tide is about to erupt. As fellow members of the Zhuangshan Dao sect, we should all work together, probed Fan Song. He's worried about there being no portion for him when the contributions of each person are evaluated. Long Chen shook his head. Cough. Well, we're all fellow disciples and occasional fighting is normal. But at a critical time, we should be united, said Fan Song. He felt very awkward yes, that is correct. If he is obedient and listens to directions, I won't toss him out. But if he wants to fight against me over leadership, I'll kick him out immediately. If he causes any trouble at a critical time, I will kill him, said Long Chen coldly. Yes, I will tell him what you said. Fan Song's heart shook. Long Chen was no longer his old self. If he wanted to kill Gao Xianyang, then with that many experts under his command, not even ten lives would be enough. Other than that, did you sense anything suspicious while you were out hunting? Long Chen looked Fan Song in the eye. No. Fan Song shook his head. Then you can go. Long Chen nodded and smiled. Fan Song had only just gotten up from a bow and turned to leave when Long Chen added, When you go back. You should consider whether your loyalties lie with Gao Xianyang, the law enforcement hall, or the Zhuangshan Dao sect. Fan Song shook slightly before he left. The next day, Fan Song returned and told him that Gao Xianyang had agreed to Long Chen's requests. He would listen to his orders. Long Chen smiled. He seemed to understand something, but he didn't say anything. You can decide some things after you think them through. Long Chen looked at Fan Song, who was simply standing there without moving seeming to be struggling with himself. Fan Song clenched his teeth. He finally said, while we were out at sea, Gao Xianyang went deep into the sea on his own to investigate the movements of the sea demons. He was once gone for a day and night. Long Chen nodded. Good. I'm glad you still know you are a disciple of the Zhuangshan Dao sect Go, and be careful. Fan Song nodded and thanked Long Chen before leaving. Alone in his room, Long Chen looked at where the sea met the land through the window. He muttered to himself. Gone for a day and night? That's normal. Time passed day by day. Suddenly, the day came when the sea began to rise and huge waves crashed onto the land. Everyone gather. 
The beast tide is erupting. Brothers, the chance to get rich has come, shouted Gu Yang. The first half of his words had dignity, but the latter half didn't. However, this shout caused the tense atmosphere to relax a great deal. All the Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples gathered. Almost 300,000 disciples rushed over to the shore. Once they were there, they saw that the water was rolling like it was boiling. Huge waves continuously crashed against the shore, and the water level continuously rose. Ear-piercing cries began to ring out from the depths of the sea. The land was quivering, causing these disciples' expressions to change. They had never seen such a terrifying phenomenon. Everyone, don't panic. This is the result of millions and millions of sea demons charging out from the depths of the sea. It's very normal, explained Long Chen. Prepare yourselves. Form up your formations. The Dragon Blood Legion will take the center. Hua Shiyu and Sumo will lead the two wings, while Gao Xianyang's people will take the tail. Get ready to attack. The Dragon Blood Legion charged forward, looking like the head of an arrow. Hua Shiyu and Sumo led their armies to act as the two wings, while Gao Xianyang brought up the rear. Gao Xianyang looked gloomily at Long Chen, but he obediently acted as the rear. Boom. The sea exploded and countless huge figures charged out, rushing at them. There were all kinds of sea demons. They were like small mountains coming at them, each one of them bringing the stench of blood. Kill. Let these sea demons know what true power is, roared a dragon mark warrior upon seeing this endless tide of sea demons. They are only sixth rank sea demons. What's there to be so excited about? Another dragon mark warrior rolled his eyes at him. Although these sea demons were large, they were just at the sixth rank. The disciples could annihilate masses of them with a wave of their hands. Thus, they weren't even a challenge. Shouting so excitedly was making a fuss out of nothing. But the dragon blood warriors reflexively entered their combat state. As long as they were with Long Chen and a battle started, their blood would start to boil out of their control. With everyone gathered in front of the sea, attacks continuously landed amongst the sea demons, killing them rapidly. Their blood dyed the sea red. Seeing the essence blood of these sea demons be absorbed so quickly by the sea, Long Chen couldn't help but wonder. The Grand Dao was formless. The Grand Dao was emotionless. In front of the Grand Dao, all lives might look free, but in reality, they were silently controlled by the heavenly Daos. These low-ranking sea demons proliferated in huge numbers, threatening the benefits of the high-ranking sea demons. It was unknown what technique they were using. But those high-ranking sea demons were controlling these mindless sea demons to attack the human race. Once they were killed, their essence blood would flow into the sea, strengthening the spiritual key in it. Perhaps this was the goal of the rulers of the sea. The ones to benefit from this essence blood were the high-ranking sea demons. But what about the human race? Who was benefiting there from this battle? Who agreed with the rulers of the sea demons to fight like this? This bloody slaughter had no mercy on either side. Pity and compassion weren't worth a single copper coin in front of it. Although a sea demon was also a living being, if the humans didn't kill them, they would break out of their blockade and kill the innocent creatures on the continent. Slaughter was cruel. It was barbarous and brutal. But sometimes, slaughter was the only way to resolve problems. In this world, there was no absolute truth that everyone believed in. Otherwise, there wouldn't be all kinds of beliefs. Even gods would have different opinions and fight. So when there was no way to reason things out, any life form with intelligence would instinctively start fighting. There were too many sea demons attacking. Since they were all sixth rank sea demons, no one went to gather their needons. One reason was because they were too busy, and the other reason was that they looked down on their needons. In the eastern wasteland, a good sixth rank sea demons needon could be exchanged for a whole city. But here, needons were everywhere, and nobody could be bothered to pick them up. On the shore. The 10,000 Insect Guild's disciples were killing any sea demons that slipped through, completely blocking them from proceeding. What shocked people was that the beast tide this time was crazy. The disciples slaughtered into the third day before 7th and 8th rank sea demons appeared. At this time, the sea demon corpses had piled into mountains. Long Chen placed himself in charge of gathering these corpses. With a wave of his hand, the corpses entered the primal chaos space, falling into the black soil. The primal chaos space was 300,000 miles wide now, and the black soil was 3,000 miles wide. It was like a huge gaping mouth, crazily devouring the corpses. At this moment, life energy filled the entire primal chaos space. Chapter 1160 Divine Life Elixir Translator Born to be as more and more sea demon corpses piled in the primal chaos space, they were all devoured by the black soil and released boundless life energy. 
This life energy had nowhere to go. The iron spruce oaks had grown to their peak and couldn't absorb any more life energy. Hence, the surplus ended up condensing into a faint mist. This mist contains life energy. Long Chen was surprised to sense the life energy fluctuations within the mist. He quickly gathered more corpses. Eventually, ninth rank sea demons began to appear, increasing the pressure. Ninth rank sea demons had powerful defenses and attacks, and their numbers were insane. Retreat to the first defensive line, shouted Long Chen. Everyone fell back to the cliff side. The cliff was 300 meters high, and the water was unable to creep over it. However, to a ninth rank sea demon, such a cliff was nothing more than a small stair. Once the disciples were there, they changed formations, forming a line. They attacked the ninth rank sea demons. Each faction had a group of people focused on gathering the Nedans. Ninth rank sea demons' Nedans were good things that couldn't be wasted, but no one went for their corpses. However, the bodies of ninth rank sea demons were too huge, and that would affect the battle. Long Chen was constantly gathering them, seeing Long Chen constantly working to clean up the corpses. The Zhuanchen Dao sect's disciples were filled with admiration. Despite being a peerless expert and a leader of hundreds of thousands of disciples, he actually took it upon himself to do the work of cleaning up after everyone. There probably wasn't a single heavenly genius capable of being as low-key as that. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, how could such work be left for you? Let me handle it. Some of the disciples couldn't bear to see a peerless expert like Long Chen cleaning up after them. Their faces burned and they started helping. Hey, stop. Don't worry about it. I'll handle this. Your spatial rings are limited and will fill up quickly. Plus you'd have to go out far to get the corpses. But don't worry, I prepared a large number of storage devices before this. So it's best if I do it. Long Chen immediately stopped them from helping. These corpses were his treasures. He couldn't give them to others. Then senior apprentice brother Long Chen. How about you hand the storage devices to me? For you to personally do such a thing, is a bit unsuitable, said a disciple. How is it unsuitable? You're spilling blood and risking your lives to kill these sea demons. Why can't I pick up a bit of trash? Go, get back to work. Long Chen flapped his hand at them. Those disciples were all filled with admiration. Quite a few people stealthily glanced at Gao Xianyang in the distance, comparing him to Long Chen. His hands were clasped behind his back as he arrogantly looked over the battlefield, not helping at all. Thus, a contemptuous expression appeared on quite a few people's faces. Long Chen was the number one disciple of the Zhuanchen Dao sect such an amazing figure was personally cleaning up the battlefield. Did Gao Xianyang not feel embarrassed to act so arrogant? In comparison, they all liked Long Chen's way of deeply reserving himself. This was why people with real skills liked to be low-key. They had the power to stand out at any moment. In reality, how was Long Chen being low-key? He was happily profiting. With this many corpses entering his primal chaos space, the mist in the air grew even denser. After a few hours, the sea demons became even more berserk. Mid-ninth rank sea demons also appeared, increasing the pressure on the disciples. They once more fell back, arriving at the center of the funnel terrain that Li Qi and Song Mingyuan had made. Their defensive zone had shrunk a great deal here, making the defensive line stronger. Guo Ran, there are too many ninth rank sea demons. Clean them up a bit shouted Long Chen. All right, boss. I swept through cough. Don't kick me. I'm going. Guo Ran had been about to shout his slogan when Long Chen raised his foot. Guo Ran immediately shot off. Using a huge crossbow, Guo Ran shot a dozen arrows out at the sea demons. Huge explosions rang out as blood and flesh flew through the air. Huge holes a hundred miles wide appeared in the encroaching sea demon army. Seeing all the ninth rank sea demons in those areas being killed instantly, the disciples were stunned. Although they had seen how powerful Guo Ran's exploding arrows could be, their power was now absolutely horrifying. A dozen arrows emptied a great portion of the battlefield. Long Chen waved a hand and gathered their broken corpses. While he extracted the corpses, he also pulled out their needons. The corpses landed in the black soil while he kept the needons stored away. As more time passed, more sea demons appeared. Now, there were no longer any sea demons below the ninth rank. The battlefield was pitch black with huge sea demons. Late ninth rank ones had appeared as well. Menki had summoned 36 houseboats to assist in the battle, and she finally let Cloud, who had been impatient from the start, start killing the ninth rank sea demons. It had already advanced to the mid eighth rank, and killing these sea demons was incredibly easy for it. Even mid ninth rank sea demons could be killed in one blow. 
Wang's hen had also revealed his terrifying power. 13,000 ninth rank insects had appeared. They charged through the sea demon army, completely unstoppable. Hua Shia was surrounded by flower petals. The powerful armor of the sea demons was as weak as tofu in front of her. They were killed in droves. Tang Wan'er had also summoned a sea of wind blades. Just like Hua Shiyu, she unleashed large-scale death on the sea demons. Because there were too many sea demons, even Yu Zifeng, Gu Yang, Song Mingyuan, Li Qi, and the others were forced to participate. With even rank 6 celestials attacking, the sea demons were annihilated as quickly as they came. Fan Song was scared witless. Even his old opponents, Hua Shiyu and Wang Zhen, were releasing shocking battle prowess. They could now annihilate him instantly. As for Gao Xianyang and Hu Gishan, they were shocked, furious, and envious. Even their eyes turned red from envy. They were completely unable to understand how they had become so powerful. If Long Chen was powerful, that was fine. After all, he was a monster. But now every person by Long Chen's side was also terrifying. Even Wang Zhen and Hua Shiyu were stunning. At this time, Gao Xianyang also attacked. Sword Qi swept out. His killing power was also amazing, but when compared to the likes of Tang Wan'er, Hua Shiyu, and Wang Zhen, it was lackluster. Those disciples following Gao Xianyang had somewhat odd expressions, but in the midst of this fierce battle, they didn't deliberately display them. However, Gao Xianyang's gaze was icy cold. Looking at Long Chen and the others, his expression was extremely gloomy. Long Chen didn't pay attention to the changes in Gao Xianyang's expression. He was busy gathering the sea demon's corpses. The mist in the primal chaos space grew so dense that he practically couldn't see his hand if he stuck it in front of his face. This mist was a condensed version of life energy. As more corpses were devoured by the black soil, it grew denser, until, drip, suddenly, a light sound rang within the primal chaos space and immediately drew Long Chen's attention. He hastily went in to search for the source of the sound and saw a little sapling beside the heavenly Dao tree that was only a foot tall. This little sapling had appeared without him sensing anything. It had no branches. Instead, its crown abruptly split into three leaves. The leaves were the size of a palm and emerald green. They shone softly, giving him a comfortable feeling. It was like looking at them could allow a person to forget all their struggles. There were veins on the leaves that looked just like ordinary leaves, and yet they contained some kind of ineffable Dao charm. Drip. Just at this moment, the dew drops it up one of the leaves drew together and fell to the ground. When the drop fell to the ground, it was rapidly absorbed, filling the primal chaos space with life energy. Drip. Another drop condensed. Long Chen reached out his hand and caught it. This, this is, divine life elixir. Long Chen was filled with shock as he sensed the life energy in the drop. This drop was practically the same as the miraculous healing liquid that the spirit world's expert had given him all those years ago. But the life energy within this one was many times stronger. I've become able to condense divine life elixir. Long Chen's heart pounded. He quickly took out three jade bottles and placed them below the sapling, gathering the divine life elixir that fell from its leaves. Long Chen suddenly understood what was going on. When the primal chaos space's life energy accumulated to a certain level of saturation, it would give birth to this small tree to release the divine life elixir. This process was slow. He saw that condensing one drop took a few breaths, and after gathering three drops, no more came. Hmm? Is there not enough energy? Long Chen suddenly thought of the crux of the problem. Boss, the line's getting shaky. Suddenly, Guo Ran's cry drew him out of his contemplation. His mind exited the primal chaos space and returned to reality. Seeing the scene in front of him, he jumped in shock. At some unknown point, the ninth rank sea demons had begun coming in literal waves. They stacked on top of each other, forming a true beast tide. It was impossible to see the land any longer as it was drowned out by the beast tide. Even Wild was fighting now, but he was still unable to stop these waves of sea demons that seemed to be pushed onward by some mysterious energy. Starfall. Without even thinking about it, Long Chen summoned a starfall. A large globe fell amongst the sea demon tide. Boom. The battlefield became empty. Thousands of miles of sea demons were killed. Boss is mighty. The dragon blood legion cheered. Long Chen's attack had cleaned up the battlefield in an instant. Now the land was a mass of flesh and blood. It was a frightening scene. Gao Xianyang was originally filled with envy, but Long Chen's attack completely broke that envy. His envy transformed into terror. After not seeing Long Chen for just such a short time, he had become so terrifying. He no longer had the qualifications to even challenge Long Chen. 
With a wave of his hand, Long Chen pulled in the broken bits of flesh. Even the Needons had been broken under the power of his starfall, but he didn't mind. Just getting the flesh was enough. As more flesh poured into the primal chaos space, through the Black Soil's transformation, the divine life elixir began to slowly drip once again. 